prices. The official says the bank then requested the call withholder and subsequently raised its payment offer to reach a tentative settlement. Although there is an agreement in principle on the value of the deal, the official said there are other issues that have yet to be resolved and it could be days before any public announcement is made. A second government official briefed on the negotiations said the settlement is expected to include hundreds of millions of dollars in consumer relief to help struggling homeowners cope with their mortgages. The official, who also was not authorized to speak publicly because the negotiations are confidential, cautioned that final deal terms are not yet complete. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Reuters reports, U.S. President Barack Obama said on Wednesday that Ukraine did not need additional military assistance to fight insurgents in the eastern part of the country, but a Russian invasion would raise a different set of questions. Obama's comments came after NATO said on Wednesday that Russia had amassed some 20,000 troops on Ukraine's border and could use the pretext of a humanitarian mission to invade. At a news conference at the conclusion of the U.S.-Africa summit in Washington, Obama was asked whether the U.S. would reconsider consider sending lethal aid to Ukraine. Obama said, well, keep in mind that the Russian army is a lot bigger than the Ukrainian army, so the issue here is not whether the Ukrainian army has some additional weaponry, noting that the separatists had not been able to match the Ukrainian army's strength so far, despite causing a lot of violence. He added, now, if you start seeing an invasion by Russia, that's obviously a different uh, thank you, Jordan. I appreciate you <laughs> taking up this issue. Fair talk, a man ain't cooked crisp on the hellfire desert, and he ought to be left on his own. Well, right, Jode. Immigrants are desperate for a better way of life. We Get need the strongest of these crude backward browns to keep us all alive. I see the ones that can swim the Rio Grande, too. Berto, you swum that border river to get here, ain't you? Joe, not all Mexicans came here by swimming the Rio Grande. No, 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 no. I got sympathy. I crossed Huron Lake in the barrel myself using hands as paddles. Lived off the carp. What jumped at me? Now, you swam that river, no, ain't you? No, actually, I was born here. What you know about hard work? Ain't never swum no river. Many immigrants, they I say you ain't to never be... know the man till you seen his teeth. Show him your teeth. Too many teeth rotting out shows you're dishonest in the mind. You got strong man full teeth, Barto. I apologize. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here toll-free. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com and get interactive over there. There's all kinds of different stuff you can do. But the main uh, focus of the site is that you get to tell us what you think is important. So when you go to freetalklive.com, you'll see all number of usually news stories, but sometimes it could be blog posts or YouTube videos. The number one story right now, cop who was texting and driving fatally hit ex-Napster executive who was riding his bike. Uh, so you get to submit the content there to the front page of the site, and then other listeners can vote it up or down. It's a Reddit-based system, which means that if you have a free Reddit account and a free Free Talk Live account, easy to get yourself connected there and get interactive. So all kinds of neat stuff to talk about. There's an update on the Market Basket Grocery Saga, where uh, today there was a major set of layoffs that were put on hold. Uh, we'll tell you more about that if we get the chance. Plus, I earlier this week had wondered aloud when we were talking about Ross Ulbricht. Uh, he is the man who is alleged to be the founder and the operator, the creator of the Silk Road, the underground drug marketplace, fake IDs, pirate kind of stuff, all kinds of like hacking tools, stuff like that was available yeah, there. It, it's like the pirate's cove of the internet. By the way, I want to welcome, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on there because I'd asked for something. I'd asked for an update on the other people who've been charged. We know all about Ross Ulbricht, but we haven't heard about 
the other guys and I didn't even know their names off the you know top of my head and that's you know that's not cool these guys are facing very similar charges for operating or the assisting of the operating in that uh that enterprise, I guess you could say. Uh, joining Mark and myself tonight, we have a special guest co-host. What do you want to go by, Centurion, tonight? Centurion is with us. Now, uh, welcome to the show, show, Centurion. Good to have you here tonight. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. So you, uh, to, to, I guess I'll give our listeners a little bit about you, because not everybody listening to the show may be uh, intimately familiar with uh, copblock.org. You happen to be... Uh, wearing the cop block t-shirt tonight and it's a handmade as, as i understand it uh cop block t-shirt our, our viewers uh at home and at work or wherever they might be watching our webcam they can see the front side of you uh but maybe during uh one of the uh, the commercial breaks you can turn around for them because you can't see the cop block vi- uh, logo or the cop block wording is not on the front side of the shirt but you actually handmade a cop block shirt yes i did it's uh i specifically made it for the dy checkpoint so i can be seen a little bit better you know what, the DUI checkpoint things uh, that have been happening out in Manchester, New Hampshire, have been absolutely spectacular with 30 to 40 activists in the streets. They're opposing these uh, unconstitutional DUI checkpoints, this basically, you know, searching and harassing wholesale of anybody and everybody who comes through a particular intersection or stretch of road. Uh, you've been out there on the front lines of that, and uh, th- there's been just some amazing footage that's come out of it. And to to be able to have the activism seen here in New Hampshire to the point where the activists outnumber the police at an at an operation like a checkpoint, a DUI checkpoint, where there's no shortage of cops. And police around. are feeling extremely defensive. Uh, are they? They even changed their tactics by stopping them before the checkpoint and after because we're so effective. Meaning, when you say stopping, you mean the cars? They were stopping yep, cars? They're, they're moving regular cruises be ahead of us to actually start <laughs> randomly pulling over people. So the interesting thing is, you know, they'll probably start changing their tactics a little bit over time, but so can the activists. And it seems like the the numbers are growing. I know it was 30 people at uh, one of the first ones this summer, and then 40 people at the next one or something. That's what I've heard. I actually haven't been out because it's Friday nights. Uh, you know, I'm usually on the air. So I don't get the pleasure of going to see it in person, but I do get to see a video from Derek J over on his website, DerekJ.me. Yeah, Centurion's basically the face of cop block in this town now. I mean, he's uh, been doing it for 18 months, two years, something like that. And uh, Sounds right. Yeah, dedicated. Definitely. I mean, I, you and I have been out a number of times on the streets uh, in Keene here and, you know, giving young people... Know your rights information, and uh, it's been very, very successful. They have a huge, huge following with Keene State College and the college kids. Especially the girls, man. They they love you. <laughs> <laughs> you've got like this uh, helmet. You're a, a veteran, and you've got this uh, helmet that sort of you Velcro your camera and your your flashlight up there. And yeah. I mean, you're ready. It's you're, a little bit cinematic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're ready to go out. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. So we can talk more about you know expertise on cop block related. Matters. Matters. You certainly are no stranger to it. In fact, you've kind of done a little bit of a tour yourself. I mean, we've had Pete Ayer on the show, one of the founders of Cop Block, uh, here. Of course, for our listeners that don't know, Cop Block is what? How would you describe uh, Cop Block, Centurion? It's decentralized uh, with many, many different opinions, you know, many, many different ideologies. And it's just great to be a part of a, a collective group that presses for accountability and, and, uh, you know, make sure that people know their rights, what they what they can, and, you know, what their rights are, and so they can tell the police, no, you can't search me. You can't automatically do that because you have a badge. You can't automatically pull me off my porch because you have a badge or search my person. And and that's extremely important, not only for the police to know, but you know, for for people that don't know their rights, you know. Yeah, another thing is is that um, police around the country, <clears throat> oftentimes uh, they, they pretty much feel like they can do whatever they want exactly. because essentially no one will question them. Mm-hmm. But when you have a group of people, especially concentrated in one area, that are asking questions and questioning, is that an order? Is that a lawful order, or are you just asking me here? Um, you're gonna. It's it's a pushback. It 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 has it it makes them less likely to just try it with anybody to to get whatever they want because they're not used to getting whatever they want every um, every time. And I think that that in and of itself is important. The the founders talked about 
an active citizenry. They wanted people to question the government, and uh, nobody does anymore. So you can get involved over at Cop Block. Check them out at uh, copblock.org. And, of course, Centurion's uh, highly involved with Keen Cop Block. You know, there's no real leader to Keen Cop Block, but you are certainly somebody who puts a lot of hours in. And so <laughs> yeah. uh, you're definitely there and you're doing it, and I appreciate that. So we're going to continue here. You can bring up anything that you want. Interesting news here. So what I was saying about the Silk Road a moment ago, and uh, the, we were talking earlier this week about Ross Ulbricht, the guy who's accused of running the Silk Road as the you know the boss. He's the creator, allegedly, of the Silk Road. This is this underground drug marketplace on the uh, an allegedly anonymous system called Tor. I've got an update about the other folks, and it's actually a fairly old update. It's from January of this year, but I had wondered aloud, and really there hasn't been much of anything else since then or since this, but of the three other people that have been charged with helping to turn Silk Road into an online drug empire, two of those three have been released on bail. This is from Mashable.com. The three men were arrested in a coordinated effort by global law enforcement agencies on or around December 19th. All three are accused of acting as moderators or employees of the online black market bazaar Silk Road. The U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York confirms to Mashable that Andrew Michael Jones, charged with using the alias Inigo, has been released after his family posted a $1 million bond and he Whoa. agreed to a number of other conditions. Pending trial, Jones has agreed to, I've, I've heard they, they put their house up, uh, for that, his parents. It's uh, quite a house, I bet. It's a nice U.S. war against free enterprise. Jones had agreed to home detention with electronic monitoring, strict surveillance of his computer activity, and drug testing. He also surrendered all his travel documents and is restricted to certain locations in Virginia, where the FBI nabbed him at his home in New York, where he will undergo trial. Jones appeared in federal court earlier this week when both the prosecution and defense agreed on a 90-day discovery period. Jones and his attorney declined to comment on the case at this time. His next hearing is scheduled for April 17th. I don't know what happened uh, in April. I haven't been able to find news since then, but I do know, uh, from what I understand, he is still on house arrest. The trial has not yet occurred, so he's basically been staying at uh, at his parents' house. There's another one who was allegedly uh, named Libertas on the site, a man named Gary Davis. Uh, he apparently has also been released on bail, as I understand it. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, and then there's one more person involved in this, and I don't... We'll get an update on him. There's something going on with Australia and that person in a moment. This is Free Talk Live. In a far future universe, Earth's fleet is shattered, rife with guerrilla warfare, interspecies diplomacy, and full-scale interstellar combat. Humanity is about to face its trial by fire. Trial by Fire, book two in the tales of the Terran Republic, sequel to the national best-selling and award-winning Fire with Fire by distinguished professor and author Charles Gannon. Get it now from Amazon through shop.freetalklive.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. 
Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever's on your mind. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Got all kinds of stuff coming up to talk about tonight, including a naughty, naughty Homeland Security official. He's been busted. We'll tell you what that's all about here in a little bit. Plus, the so-called Liberty Kids shaking up the Los Angeles Republican Party. Uh, what's that? 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. We're also talking about the latest on the other guys allegedly involved in the Silk Road. We've covered a lot about Ross Ulbricht, the man alleged to be in charge of the Silk Road, but there are also at least three other individuals that have been arrested uh, and associated with Ross and basically charged with the same exact things except for the Kingpin statute. So Ross has been charged with uh, you know, criminal conspiracy to launder money, conspiracy to commit uh, computer hacking, and conspiracy to distribute drugs. Uh, illegal drugs, and the, uh, the you know the kingpin whatever I don't know what the kingpin charge is. It's something that makes things more serious. But the it sounds serious. Even without it? the kingpin charge, we're still talking about these other guys are looking. They have at, a you know, rico on them. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah, they uh, unbelievable. Yeah. So the other guys though, they're being charged with you know pretty serious stuff as well, and we'll get back into that. There's a little bit more. Plus, ProXPN, that's how you protect your online privacy. It's a great step toward it. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and use our promo code FTL20. Uh, you get yourself 20% off the price of the premium account at ProXPN. Now, what they do there is they actually encrypt your internet connection. So what you're doing now, if you don't have ProXPN, if you're online without ProXPN, you're probably being logged by your internet service provider. They're probably tracking every website, being logged. <laughs> every website you visit, every search term that you enter, probably being held onto for as long as five years in some cases. So uh, you can stop that by downloading ProXPN software. It's available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS, as well as Android. Plus, Linux users, you can even get hooked up with ProXPN. The process is a little bit different, though, for Linux. It's still pretty simple, though. ProXPN.com slash FT. 
ATL. You can go get started there. But protecting your information from snooping ISPs is cool. Plus, if you're at a like a coffee shop, the administrator of the coffee shop's network that you're on, they're not going to be able to sniff you out either. Or people with Wi-Fi packet sniffers trying to steal your bank account or credit card information. ProXPN helps keep you safe. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. And you can, if you buy their annual plan, break the price down to as low as 5 bucks a month with code FTL20. And with the premium package, you get unlimited bandwidth servers around the world you can connect to. And you can even privately torrent with ProXPN uh, with their premium package. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and use code FTL20. So according to a story at uh, Mashable.com, the other guys involved allegedly in the Silk Road uh, Michael, excuse me, Andrew Michael Jones, uh, form, uh, a.k.a. allegedly Inigo. There's another one, uh, Gary Davis, allegedly known as Libertas, on the site. Irish authorities released another, they, they released Gary Davis on the night that he was arrested, according to TechCrunch. An anonymous source told the publication the move clued in FBI agents as to who flew to Ireland to take Davis into custody and interrogate him and that an extradition hearing for Davis will take place next month. U.S. law enforcement official with knowledge of the situation confirmed to Mashable that Davis is free on bail. These are the men accused of operating the Silk Road, uh, the administrators, basically. These aren't the guys that own the, st- the site. They were alleged to have been paid between fifty and $75,000 per year for their services, basically helping to... Uh, you know, it, uh, mediate uh, kind of controversies between sellers and buyers, help people hash out uh, the issues that they inevitably will uh, that will arise when you're dealing with anonymous people selling drugs on uh, anonymously on the internet. Uh, so that was kind of one of their primary roles, and you know, other administrative tasks involved with running the site, like reporting back to Dread Pirate Roberts, the site owner, what they've been doing for the last week, what have their you know what have their jobs entailed. And then the, the third individual here on this list is Peter Philip Nash. Now, he is alleged to be one of the, the primary forum administrators. So this guy allegedly wasn't an administrator of the site. The Silk Road had two sites. One was the Silk Road, the drug marketplace, uh, the underground marketplace. And then there was the Silk Road forums, which were at a different URL. Which and is like a completely different site. It's like Free Talk Live's BBS. I mean, exactly. It's, just a, it's a message forum. I mean, and we have moderators on our uh, forum who aren't hosts of the show. They aren't regularly involved in the production or in any way involved in the production of the radio show. They're just moderators of the forum. Well, apparently that was what the job of Peter Philip Nash was, allegedly. He was known as a few different names, including Same, Same But Different, Batman 73, Symmetry, and Anonymous as, and then the S word. Uh, those were some of his forum names. Now, did that, Silk Road get shut down simultaneously during the arrest? These guys were arrested after the Silk Road shut down. Silk Road was cracked down on in October of 2013. That's when Ross Ulbricht was arrested. The site was down for approximately a month. And then the new site came online about a month later. So in November, Silk Road 2.0 came online, and then it was in December that these three individuals were taken out and arrested. Uh, well, I know that forum guy is guilty. Did anybody call themselves Batman and that anything from that DC dreck? <laughs> Neither Australian <laughs> nor uh, so again he was in Australia allegedly and was in custody at the time of this writing, which was in January. Neither Australia nor U.S. law enforcement officials would comment on whether the U.S. will seek extradition to bring Nash to America to face charges. However, since the three men were indicted in a U.S. federal court, it is likely federal prosecutors will do everything possible to ensure they face the charges brought against them. And then the story goes on to talk more about, you know, what happened with the Silk Road, etc. And so there you go. That's what happened. I had wondered aloud, and it was brought to my attention. This was basically the latest thing. There's a little bit more that I'm privy to, but I don't think I'm able to share. But I understand there may be a fundraiser in the works for Inigo and we will find out more about that. There are some, some questions about who it is that's doing the fundraising. You, when somebody gets online and says, hey, I'm related to such and such who was arrested in the Silk Road. Send me Bitcoin. Yeah, kind of got to be a little careful with that. You need to uh, make sure that that person's actually telling the truth. So as I understand it, that information is being put together to verify the claims of uh, certain individuals who will be purportedly doing a fundraiser for this individual. Got it. Inigo. 
and we will keep you up to date as that uh, continues to develop. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. And uh, you know what? We're going to the phone lines here. Uh, I know I screened the call, but I totally spaced out on who this is. So <laughs> who is this? You're on Free Talk Live. Hello? Hey, you're on the air. Oh, hi. Uh, this is Evan from Bardo Farm. I'm out in the woods of the Shire. Oh, yeah, Bardo. Now, this is a place where a number of activists who are freedom-oriented have moved to and uh, they've kind of uh, really gotten dirty out there. You guys take a, take care of a lot of farm business, slaughtering pigs and building houses and things like that. It sounds like it's fun yeah. for a lot of people. It's a landing spot for a lot of sort of young um, males that uh, that come to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. Now, Evan, you've been out there for a while now, right? A few years, a couple of years? Um, no, actually, I just moved out this spring. Oh, wow. um, now, are you the emperor of Bardo? Huh, I, I'm the emperor of myself, and... Uh, Bardo's pretty tolerant of that. Well, the reason you asked that question, sir. Mark, was because uh, this is Evan, who was p- formerly the emperor of uh, Free Grafton, as I as I recall. Uh, uh, but- I'm still an emperor of Free Grafton, as I understand it. I don't yeah. think there was ever a recall election there. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> well, stay, stand election. by. It sounded <laughs> like you might have been repudiating it there, so we'll bring it back. It's Free Talk Live. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. In order to more accurately portray the risks of smoking, the FDA has approved putting a picture of Trish on the cover of all cigarette packs. Clinical trials suggest that images of diseased organs, corpses, and deformed infants all prove less effective than a single photograph of Trish smiling. Smokers can expect to see the graphic campaign as early as next month, paired with a simple line of text that reads, Cigarettes Cause Trish. In science news, a new study finds that every style of parenting inevitably produces disturbed and miserable adults. Despite a great variance in parenting styles across populations, from overprotective to permissive, the end product is always the same, a profoundly flawed and joyless human being. One bright note of the study, adults can find temporary happiness when they're able to perpetuate the cycle of human misery by having children. In other news, the Pulitzer board adds a giant pumpkin category, and a local man's utter failure in life is a bit of a sore spot. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to move to the free state, and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. 
From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, and you can take control toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have on the site. If you like what we're doing, you can toss some Bitcoin into the tip jar. Uh, somebody had emailed last night to say that uh, say thanks for putting uh, Chris Cantwell on the show uh, last night, and of course, the last time we had Chris on, I thought it was a great show. But some people got uh, kind of upset about it. And they sent some emails complaining, but some people really enjoyed it. So again, you know, you can't make everybody happy. But this guy said he liked it so much, he left a tip, and sure enough, in the Free Talk Live pit, uh, tip jar, point zero five Bitcoin. I don't know what that uh, totals out to, but I think it's a few bucks at least. It's not bad. So thanks for that, man. I appreciate it. Go to bitcoin.freetalklive.com. Uh, you can toss something in the tip jar there. If you have a Bitcoin wallet, if you don't yet, you need to get one. You can do that over at blockchain.com. They've got an easy-to-install and set up wallet for your smartphone device. Maybe it's an iPhone or an Android-based phone. They've got one. They've got a one wallet for each. I have to say, I like the Android wallet better. They just made it easier to use. I don't know why it's so different, uh, but it is. But at least those iPhone folks actually have a Bitcoin wallet again because Apple had pulled it off the market for a while, and now it's it's back. So you, if you've been waiting on the blockchain app for Apple, you can go and get it now at blockchain.com. Get your Bitcoin wallet set up. By the way, I want to welcome our newest radio affiliate, Augusta, Georgia's News Talk 1230 WEZO. They're coming on board, taking Free Talk Live and airing us uh, midnight to 2 a.m. in Augusta. Awesome. So welcome aboard, late night listeners. If you are listening in Augusta or anywhere else where this show is to what's called delay broadcast in the business, uh, you can still participate. You just have to remember to call when we're live. So we're live from 7 to 10 at night <laughs> Eastern Time. Mark your calendar. Put it in your you know, calendar app or whatever to call in. If you've got something you want to say, if you've got something that you want to get off your chest, some sort of issue you want to address, this is the place for you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And, of course, you can Skype in to the show. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Let's go back to Evan calling from Bardo in New Hampshire. Evan, you're on Free Talk Live. Do we have Evan? Evan going once. Actually, he's muted. Let's try this now. Go ahead, Evan. You're actually on at this point. Howdy. Yes. Uh, um, so I didn't really want to talk about my my activities as a humble emperor. I'd rather talk about my activities as an industrious serf here at Bardo. All right. And um, uh, lately, this project that I've been kind of obsessing about for the past few years and is finally coming to fruition is uh, I'm building an earth-sheltered house. Neat. Um, sheltered, meaning underground? Um, it, that's a word you could use to describe it, um, though it's it's more of an above-ground structure um, with an earthen roof that goes all the way down to the ground. Um, so kind of like built into a hill. Yeah, um, you, mow your, you mow your roof, Ian. Uh-huh, okay, okay. But so it's in a hill, not really underground, but kind of, I mean, earth-sheltered sounds less crazy than underground, doesn't it? <laughs> um, right, that's that's one good reason to, to use that uh, terminology. Earth integrated <laughs> is another. Okay. Um, now, what are the benefits of this? I mean, I've heard that it's uh, it's good for insulation. Is that true? Um, yeah, it's radically passive. Um, uh, dry earth is a particularly good insulator, and several feet of it is is sufficient as thermal mass and insulation to carry the heat of winter or the heat of summer deep into the winter and the cool of winter into the summer. Uh, for annualized thermal inertia. Now, what about uh, dampness? I mean, it would seem to me like if you have earth uh, as insulation that you're probably going to be dealing with dampness. 
dampness indeed is a problem that plagues uh, many earth sheltered structures that are poorly designed um and m my design um is based on the top 3 design criteria or problems issues that i face are drainage drainage and moisture and mm -hmm. um the way that i'm dealing with that is by well a number of a number of things one of them is by making sure that the roof line matches the slope of the hill and that every drop of water that lands on the roof has a complete downhill soil path makes sense um, additionally there's um, uh, overhangs, four feet of overhang on the on both sides, um, and um, there's an, a series of uphill ditches that redirect the water coming down the hill away and around the structure as part of the uphill patio, That's which amazing. in this design is integrated to be a, uh, a food forest for some perennial polyculture. Now, did you come up with this on your own, or did you uh, grab some, you know, some prepackaged plans that somebody else had already done? How did you figure this all out? Um, no, I'm totally stealing these ideas from more brilliant minds on the Internet um, and books that I've read. Um, well, you're not stealing the, the ideas. You're borrowing them. You know, <laughs> well, of course. You, you using those, ideas. Right. You're copying the ideas, and, and it's totally a, a good thing. Not that. Right. Indeed. This is um, but, this is um, Centurion. Are you are you a New Hampshire native? Um, nope, I'm from Texas originally. Um, but now I live here in the Shire. Yeah, you've been here for uh, for a number of years. So um, yeah, going on four or five years now. Cool. So you were inspired to do this. Why? What was the uh, you know what made you want to do this as opposed to all the other different forms of sort of an unusual home building like you know geodesic domes, monolithic domes, uh, the, you know other kind of unusual structures that could also be considered very efficient. Why the uh, the underground or or the earth sheltered one? Um. Well, I've I've been interested in this for a long time, and I first got interested in earth ships and. Uh, for, for moisture and drainage reasons, I no longer think that's a great idea for up here. But um, I, this is just something that I've been kind of obsessing about hmm. for years now and um, working on tons of different designs. And Yeah, I yeah. think it's an awesome idea, um, you know, just the idea of living underground because to some extent if um, it, it's going to make it difficult for tax assessors to mm -hmm. decide how big your house is. Um, you know, where where do you live? They can't uh, use the FLIR cameras. Uh, you know, there's just all kinds of, it affords all yeah. kinds of privacy that uh, would otherwise not be there. Oh, yeah. I mean, the sound will be absorbed. You could probably have a nice little home theater room. But, I mean, this is going to be a tiny home? or how, What's the size of this? Because another thing that's fairly big up here is this idea of the tiny homes, or at least there are a lot of people who talk about doing these things, and I imagine they'll become real after a few years, after people get the time or I'm the building money one right now. To, to do. Th are you? Yeah, okay. I get. I posted online the the frame already. Mm -hmm. It's frame done. It's on my on my wall, but it's amazing. Now, what it's is amazing. that? What good's that going to do you, uh, Centurion? I mean, you it's got for a somebody else. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. not <laughs> not it's not for me. No, it's one out of four. Now, uh, yeah. so so Evan, how big of a home are we talking about here? What's what's the square footage you're planning? Um, the interior square footage is about 325 square feet. Um, okay. It's basically uh, four eight-foot by eight-foot squares um, lined up. Like three of them are, are in a line and then another one offset of that, and that's the downhill gable. Neat. And it the sounds, like the shed roof hotel. sounds like you've got your work cut out for you, man. Anything else you wanted to share about the, uh, the experience thus far? Um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm throwing a, a work party slash an earth sheltering workshop. Actually, it starts tomorrow and runs until the 17th. And um, since it's a Hobbit House work party and Hobbits aspire to six meals a day uh, traditionally, we're going to try to serve serve food for people who come on out and help out. And there's free camping here at Bardo. Okay. And Is there a Bardo website? I mean, obviously we've got – this isn't a like a local show, so, I mean, only – you know, I don't know how many people are going to be able to come out to your thing. We can't really have everybody call in here and, and offer up their uh, their local event. But if you want to plug a website for Bardo, maybe yeah, does Bardo have a, a website? Because that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's bardofarm.com. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure if we even have the uh, the event posted on there, but we should get that up. Yep, you definitely should. I wish you the best. Thanks, Evan, for the call tonight. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Yep, bardofarm.com. There you go. Yeah, and they've got other cool stuff that they do there. You know, like I said, they're raising animals and, you know, building stuff. And, and it, like you said, it's a landing place for a lot of people who maybe, you know, if you don't have a whole lot when you move up to New Hampshire, perhaps as part of the Free State Project, 
Uh, from what I understand, they'll let you crash in return for work. Well, you yeah, have to work yeah. hard. Making yeah. us city people grow, grow, grow chickens. Yeah, and things like that. Buy guinea hens and I logging. want nothing to do with it personally, but you know, <laughs> they've they've whatever. got a lot of pigs there too. So um, I got uh, I got some pigs from them last year. So there you go, 855, 450 free. And now you know something about underground houses you might not necessarily have before. 855, 450 free. The latest on the Market Basket saga, that's on the way. Liberty Kids in Los Angeles allegedly shaking up the Republican Party. We'll find out what that's all about. And a perverted Homeland Security official has been arrested. We'll explain. Free Talk Live. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads this is an excellent book it is also a little scary because it could very well be true i hope it's fiction and julia moffett calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its amazon reviewers calling for a sequel this book is totally worth your time it's well researched liberty oriented realistic gripping and gritty do yourself a favor and don't miss this one get your copy at amazon crashed the death of the dollar by william cooper I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm -hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) (laughs) try no no pro risk free by calling 800-952-5760 Eight hundred nine five two five seven six zero. That's eight hundred nine five two fifty seven sixty. Eight hundred nine five two five seven six zero. Don't worry about things you can't control. Isn't that what they always say? But it's about impossible to avoid worrying about what's going on these days. The government has used the war on guns, the war on drugs, and the war on terrorism to tear our Bill of Rights to shreds. But you can't fight back. The Tenth Amendment Center has proven it, racking up major victories. For example, when the U.S. government claimed authority in the NDAA to have the military kidnap and detain Americans without trial, the nullifiers got a law passed in California, declaring the state's refusal to ever participate in any such thing. Their latest project is offnow.org, nullifying the National Security Agency. They've already gotten model legislation introduced in California, Arizona, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas, meant to limit the power of the NSA to spy on Americans in those states. We'd be fools to wait around for the U.S. Congress or courts to roll back Big Brother. Our best chance is nullification and interposition on the state level. Go to offnow.org, print out that model legislation, and get to work nullifying the NSA. The hero Edward Snowden has risked everything to give us this chance. Let's take it. Offnow.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. I'm Mark Stevens of the No State Project. And are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. (laughs) 
This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free and bring up anything that you want right here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. From corrupt cops to underground houses to whatever happens to be on your mind. Uh, we'll talk about it here. You just have to dial in. You can also dial us up on Skype. Our Skype username is LRN.FM. Joining you in the studio tonight, I'm Ian. Centurion from Keen Cop Lock. And Mark. And Cop Block. You know, you're not just Keen Cop Lock, Centurion. You've been all over the place. Didn't you go down to Cleveland to uh, help those guys out? Yep. Cleveland with Dio and the and the guys. Yep. Kind of went on a little tour. Was that the only place you've been? No, or did you stop Columbus, off at some other Atlanta, places? Columbus, Atlanta, and Bridgeport, too. Bridgeport, Connecticut. And, were you uh, touring on your own, or were you with Pete, or how did that just work Just meetups. Okay. Yeah, just uh, individual meetups. And folks can go to copblock.org and get uh, sort of, there's like a map there, I think, with a bunch of the different locations of yep. cop blocks all around the country. Of course, cop block is a, a project, a decentralized project to help hold the police accountable. And to anybody who appreciates the idea of holding government agents accountable, you really should check out freekeen.com. In fact, I'll be posting here in a little bit sometime tonight the latest on the Robin Hood case last uh yesterday i posted the uh, the story about the robin hooders uh, the aclu filing an amicus brief for those of you who uh, are new to the show um centurion how would you describe robin hooding i mean you've done it a little bit here and there i, I did it once one saturday of last year and it ended up being a cop lock thing that's when i caught that massachusetts chief of police with his uh, government vehicle shopping with his wife mm-hmm. using a government vehicle um, that was posted on Keen Cop Lock as well. But that that kind of drew me away from the the uh, the Robin Hood. And, but you know, I had I I I never heard about it before that. And to go out to you know because there was some people saying we're going to call the police on them and stuff that particular week. So I figured I'd go out and be the cop lock presence for them. So it's the idea of Robin Hooding is to uh, to stop people from getting parking tickets, to yeah. feed expired meters. Yeah, uh, they bef- gave me a bunch of dimes, and I went ahead and started putting stuff in before the uh, the meter maids got there or the parking enforcement. Did, you, did you threaten any of the meter maids while you were out there? No. No, did you uh, did you harass? Did nope. you intimidate? No, I did not. Well, that's what they were arguing. Uh, the city government here in Keene filed lawsuit against some of us. They didn't include you, uh, Centurion. Even, even though the, I wanted to, right? You actually filed a motion. This I don't know how many I don't know how much attention this got in the case. I think I wrote about it at freekeen.com. Me and one other me one other person did. Yes, right. It wasn't it you and Jay Freeville. Yes, who did it? Yeah, you yeah. and you and Jay Freeville uh, filed motions to intervene. I think was uh, the term. Where basically you were demanding to be added as a as a uh, d- <laughs> I put coins in meters. What's up? <laughs> well, my thing yeah. was that it, because Pete Ayer said, you know, his, his argument for being dismissed from the case was he's not a Robin Hood and he never really. Uh, right. He said he never filled any meters. Exactly. And their they kept argument. Him on. Their argument was this is a collective conspiracy against the the local government their argument was literally that because pete the founder of copblock.org because he had gotten on a radio once apparently as uh one of the parking enforcers was driving down main street because pete picked up a two-way radio which mo- a lot of the activists have here in Keene, and he transmitted the location of the oh we got the meter made going south on uh, main street or something like that yeah uh because he transmitted some sort of an assistive <laughs> statement Therefore, he was a Robin Hooder, and he needs to be uh, stopped along with the rest and, of and us. And it didn't make sense to me the dismissal, the or the uh, the the re- the judge denied my request. Right. Didn't make sense at all be, because their defense counsel, I mean their 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 counsel for yeah. the the city said you no we we can't have him because he's not collectively in the group. But their argument to keep. P N was their argument of being collectively with the group. Yeah, so ridiculous. It was like a contradictory. Sure. Well, I've yeah. never heard of somebody trying to get criminally charged either. Um, you know, that's uh, it's an it's amazing. It wasn't story. criminal charges, Mark. This is a civil case. Oh, it's a civil it's case. A civil case that okay, was brought yeah, against six uh, alleged members of the Robin Hooding squad. And please so, sue me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been fun because had they actually had the judge actually allowed you to come on to the case, you would have taken your own tact. Uh, because what happened was when the Robin Hood case started up, Pete Ayer decided he didn't want to have John Meyer represent him in court. So the case became John Meyer representing five of the six people, including me, 
who uh, you know had been charged, and then Pete was still representing himself. So during the trial, it was like a you know like a dream team kind of thing. You had John Meyer going up there, who was our attorney, uh, this like free speech award winning attorney. This guy is just awesome at what he does. You had John Meyer hammering him with uh, his legal questions, and then Pete would come up and just hammer him they with the stere- truth. You know? They stereotyped Pete all the way. They were yeah. not ready for no. how smart he was. Uh-uh. They yeah, got no. stonewalled by him. <laughs> It was unbelievable. Yeah, that to watch. video was so good. The video of Pete on the stand from the hearing in the Robin Hood, I thought was so good. I clipped it out because you know the this Robin Hood hearing last year was three full days Hours. of court, yeah, <laughs> uh, so, or three nearly full days of court, and so Pete's one hour on the stand or whatever was they just were so not golden. ready for him. They were oh, yeah. not ready. That for attorney, him. the city's attorney, did not know who they were dealing with. They no. they hadn't done any research, obviously, on Pete Air and Pete schooled them on like you know the ideas of volunteerism and freedom. And it was just a wonderful. I, like a podium. I was I was just amazed on that first question. Are you cop lock? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, cop lock's a website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know. I just you should. I don't know what this attorney's uh, website is, but they're one of the highest paid attorneys in uh, in the state that the, the oh, city yeah. of Keene is, uh, is paid for. You should have asked him, are you, you know, whatever the name of his website is? Are you city of Keene? <laughs> exactly. Well, what is the city of Keene anyway? Except for some sort of legal fiction. The city of Keene's just an idea. There are men and women who align themselves with the city of Keene, who mm-hmm. call themselves the city of Keene. Mostly, they're just, just in, a, into other people's business yeah. and uh, willing to use, uh, you know, their little forces of city, minions against them. City of Keene's just a gang name, like the Bloods or the Crips or the Latin Kings. I mean, that's what the city of Keene is, or I'm the city of Philadelphia, I, I'm, or wherever. I'm offended. I'm offended to be to be part of a city that acts the way this city has acted. Well, there's no evidence you're part of the city. I mean, did you ever work no. for them? No, I'm not saying being part, but being in. Well, that's or the living thing. in or, or, you know. So uh, Mark Stevens uh, would point out, I think, and his website's Mark, that's Mark with a C, markstevens.net, was actually just talking to him today. But he would point out, well, when people say things like the city or the state, they don't always mean or they're not transmitting the meaning that they're, they're actually saying. And, and let me see if I can better explain that. The state, when you say you're in the city, what you mean is you're in a plot of land that people commonly call keen. You're not in That's the That's too political... long to explain when right. you're talking to someone. Right, though. I mean, it's right, exactly. Yeah, I still say keen. But at the same time, <laughs> when you say you're in the city, that could also mean you're in the part of the body, uh, you are the body politic of this political organization known as the city. Right. The the government of the city, of the, you know, this area called Keene, the, the people that claim to be the, the governing body, purposely attempt to just sort of enshroud these things together using you know, like, the terms interchangeably right yeah. we've got this little force field and when you cross this line we have what we call jurisdiction. jurisdiction and by that we mean we will do whatever the hell we want to do to you yeah and then you yeah. can try to use our little court system that we set up and that is uh you know clearly um you know bends to our will in many cases well, you can try to use that to to be fair but <laughs> and on top of <laughs> jokes that, on you on top of that they're not very good at it they're, 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 yeah, they're really failing not. bad. They're yeah. failing really bad. Let me tell you, I'm going to post up here. I already posted up the ACLU's amicus brief in the Robin Hood case, and I'm literally I'm probably here during the next news break. I'll put up the uh, our attorney, Rob, or uh, John Meyer, this awesome free speech attorney, where he's in 32 pages just excoriates uh, the city's position and just owns them. He even likens them to the so- to the Soviet Russians, uh, basically, and it's just a lot of fun. To- I mean, as far as legal, <laughs> as far as legal ease and legal paperwork uh, is concerned, not many were much fun, but yeah, uh, this one was pretty fun in parts uh, to read. So I'll put all that up over at freekeen.com. You can get the latest on the case. And they've lost everything in this case, right? Like every time they. Uh, ne- the, it's never even gone to trial. I right. mean, well, they keep trying to bring it to trial, yeah. and they won't let them bring it to right. trial. I, I but- can't. I can't wait to see the 91A on how much they spent. That's a Freedom of Information well, Act. Yeah, and Hampshire. that number's still going up. They're taking Correct. it to the Supreme Court of New Hampshire to be able to simply take you to court. And maybe they'll even go beyond that. Maybe they'll even go to the Supreme Court of the United States. And just remember, they're it's doing not it, their money. They're right. doing it against activism, <laughs> free speech, and freedom of expression, right. freedom putting, of the press. People putting coins. In meters. Yeah. That's what it's all about. <laughs> well, yeah. And they want to put it And it's really not even that. going on as much as it used to, right? No, there are people out every single day. Are there? Okay. Yeah. I think uh, some folks were out today and yesterday and so on and so forth. Yeah. It's it's a daily occurrence here in Keene, New Hampshire. It's 
It's as heavy, I think, as it's ever been. At least my that's my impression of it. I'm not in charge of it as much as a lot of people would like to believe I am. The lawsuit's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, certainly. And to, that's why they lost to, at the Superior to, Court to, level. To say that a public official can't be watched by the public. Can't right? be spoken to uh, within a 50-foot radius. Cannot be uh, you know recorded within a 50-foot radius. This is what some of the restrictions they were asking for originally. And they want money because some of their employees have considered quitting their jobs. That suggests that you can't even suggest to anybody in the government that they quit their jobs. That even that in their job description, it says they're, yep. they're up to public scrutiny. Yeah, we'll know? come back with more. Lumber liquidators buys direct from the mills, giving you the largest selection of hardwood flooring at the lowest prices. Right now, choose from over 150 hardwoods on sale, including beautiful and stylish white plank pre-finished red oak for just $179 a square foot. That's less than half what you could pay at other stores. Plus, get Dream Home Laminate and Tranquility Vinyl Flooring for 20% off and bamboo for only $179. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. More great deals and special 12-month financing available. But hurry, this sale ends Tuesday. Geico Motorcycle presents Reflections from the Road. You can't beat the open road, but saving money on motorcycle insurance is a close second. That's why I switched to Geico. Reminds me of the time I switched to a new helmet without a face mask and swallowed a bunch of gnats when I accidentally yawned. Those suckers tasted bad. Unlike Geico Motorcycle Savings, which always tastes real good. Geico Motorcycle Insurance. See how much you could save. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 7, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,304, silver opened at $19.91, and Bitcoin is trading around $583. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online, rrbi.co, or by phone, 800-874-9760. In the news, Jacob Lavaro's case inspired another rally yesterday in front of the Williamson County Courthouse where supporters gathered in solidarity of the 19-year-old facing a life sentence for pot brownies. Robert Butler organized a press conference which drew Fox News, the Austin American Statesman, and the Liberty Beat. Butler presented the signatures of over 240,000 people who signed a petition in support of Lavaro, who is facing a first-degree felony charge, which in the state of Texas is 20 years to life in prison. Indictment is set for August 16th. Are you interested in learning more about unschooling or seeking fellow unschool families to spend time with? Well, the Austin Unschoolers will have their monthly support group meeting on Monday. It'll run from 6.30 until 9 o'clock at Central Market North on Lamar. It's a very casual group, so please come when you can and stay as long as you like. Kids often play on the playground while parents chat at the outdoor dining area nearby. Come ask questions and get to know other unschooled families. That's Monday, 6.30 until 9 at Central Market North. And if you're interested in permaculture design, the Bardo Project in Croydon, New Hampshire, will be hosting a week-long Hobbit House build and permaculture workshop from August 8th through the 17th. It's hands-on learning and an experience that will result in the raising of an earthen home built from materials harvested on their 200-plus acre farm. Attend one day or camp the whole week. 
Meals will be provided and evenings will be full of live music and good company. Find Bardo online at bardoproject.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, your local source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM. Located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live each Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on 1370 a.m. in Austin. That's 1370 a.m. on Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 7th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, the Russian state news agency announced a ban on all imports of food from the United States, as well as fruit and vegetables from Europe. The bans are in response to sanctions from the U.S. over Russia's support of Ukraine separatists. NATO officials warned that Russia may attempt to use a humanitarian mission as an opportunity to bring troops into Ukraine's borders. Both sides have traded accusations since the beginning of the conflict in eastern Ukraine, the hostility has grown since the downing of a Malaysian flight over rebel-held territory in Ukraine. A Canadian electric company has been ordered to remove 105,000 smart meters from the homes of Saskatchewan residents at no charge to the ratepayers. Well, that's due to the documented occurrence of at least eight fires caused by the electric meters that send power usage information electronically, removing the need for a meter reader to physically check the usage information each month. The removal is expected to cost the company around $15 million. Last week, activists with Greenpeace, the Tenth Amendment Center, and the Electronic Frontier Foundation flew a blimp over the NSA's data center in Utah that read, NSA Illegal Spying Below. The publicity stunt was designed to attract attention to allegations of illegal spying being conducted against American citizens at that facility. According to a Salt Lake City Fox affiliate, the flight was legal and broke no laws. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bombs. Non-GMO chips, homemade tortillas, and no high fructose corn syrup in anything. Visit them at one of their two locations in Austin, 500 East Ben White Boulevard or 2828 Rio Grande near the UT campus. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 7th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. During a curt Skype session earlier this afternoon, local Williamsburg resident, 29-year-old Cormac Flanagan, reminded his mother to, quote, try and be more careful after she forgot to pay his cell phone bill. Mom, the phone company called today about my cell phone bill. Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. No, m Mom, I'm not mad, but you have to stay on top of these things, you know. I know, you know I know. You can't keep waiting until the know, last minute like this. Well, I don't want to have to keep reminding you every month. You know, I need my phone. I use it. All, every every day, I need my phone. I'm, I know, I'm constantly I know. I'm, using I'm so it. bad. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. I'll get on it. Today. All right, you know, just so you know, you know, this really easy thing you can do. You know, there's this online auto pay. You just deducts in your bank account every month. Yeah, quite yeah. easy. I, I know. Okay. I know. I, I know. It's fine. I know it's, how it's, to it's, do fine. it's fine. It's fine. Just don't let it become a pattern. You know, I know. I know. I know you can do better than this. Uh, okay, I, I promise. I'll get on it today. Okay. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want as we launch here into the second hour of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you are just tuning in, we've got Centurion from CopBlock.org uh, joining us in the studio here tonight. We talked about the Silk Road administrators. I had somebody call in about an earth-sheltered house. And we've been talking about the Robin Hood, uh, the latest in the Robin Hood case. Saga has been going on for more than a year now since last year when the folks calling themselves the City of Keene filed a civil suit against myself and five other activists, including... Filed it against me. Okay. Filed it against me and uh, five I filed other against myself. If you're referring to yourself two well, times in a silly. sentence, I'm just uh, showing you how to use myself in a sentence. Gotcha. So me and the rest of those folks uh, were hit with this civil suit. I was hit with a civil suit. <laughs> 
Yeah, would you say I and the rest of those folks? That yes. sounds a little awkward. The rest of those folks and I were hit with a civil suit. Yeah. All of us. Ah, there you go. Look, I just went to gifted school. All right, can you cut me a break here? Mm, yep, yeah, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> but English was set up by status, too. Right, <laughs> right, right. You evil people using your English ru- rules on me. So we were sued. How about that? We were sued, those of us who were Robin Hooders. Uh, some of us who were Robin Hooders, because uh, Centurion, you were one of them, and uh, they didn't sue you. In fact, you tried to get added to the case. They didn't want to have any of that, so they wouldn't let that happen. But uh, the case was lost by the city. They, uh, they failed. Uh, the folks who are running the courts, or the judge in this case actually ruled on the side of freedom, which is always nice to see. Every now and then the court system will get it right, and in the case of the Robin Hood case, they did. Uh, the, of course, city immediately appealed because it's not like they're spending their own money They on don't like it cases. when the courts get it right. They spent 20000 taxpayer dollars at least on the first case. They, maybe more. Right. They wouldn't give an exact number of how much they'd spent, but they did firm up the number of 20000 at a minimum on the first case. So I suspect they're spending another twenty or thirty on the Supreme Court part of this. Uh, There's just a guess on my part. And so they're going to the New Hampshire Supreme Court. The city uh, attorneys filed their motion, not motion, but they filed their memo or their brief or whatever you want to call it uh, about a month or two ago. And now after that happens, that gives it, they give the other side time to respond to that. And so now the other side in the form of John Meyer and a, uh, an award-winning free speech attorney has stepped up to uh, to file his brief, and I've just posted that over at freekeen.com. I take some excerpts out. Uh, one of my favorites is this one, quote, and the claim that the public employees have the, quote, right to be left alone and the right to peace and tranquility while acting as government officials, unquote, which is what the city attorneys claimed in their brief, saying that these parking enforcers have a right to be left alone and a right to peace and tranquility, even though, as was pointed out, uh, I think, uh, Centurion, you pointed this out, that in their job description, it says that they have to endure verbal and physical, not physical, verbal and mental uh, harassment. And now maybe Scrutiny. The, do, no, it wasn't harassment. Verbal and mental, uh, was it duress? Something. Yeah. Anyway, they have to deal with people t- telling them off. They public, have to deal public with, scrutiny. Right. Public uh, negative public scrutiny as well. Right. People and, don't like getting tickets, and this is the thing about uh, you know the, the you know the the organizations like the city. They're they're pretty. It's pretty unusual that you would hand out a ticket to your customer, a fine to your customer for right. certain behavior. Certainly, some businesses do it in some circumstances, but you know the city should be in the business of facilitating business downtown and handing out tickets for staying too long at a restaurant or a business is, is a really terrible way to do business, especially when you're sort of looking at, you know, hey, there's empty parking spaces either side of this guy. Do we really need to give a fine for be, for taking up a parking space when there's empty parking spaces around? So anyway, the, the, the point he's making here is so you got the city guys claiming that they have a right to be left alone and a right to peace and tranquility while acting as government officials. And Meyer points out that has no application, that claim has no application to any political or legal system short of the former Soviet Union. I mean, he <laughs> just goes after him with this. Uh, you can see the whole 32-page filing, as well as the 40-plus page ACLU filing on the side of the Robin Hooders. Both of those articles are up right now at freekeen.com. We go to Eric Freerock uh, from Cop Block Radio. Eric, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, when uh, Centurion told me that he was going to be on, I just had to tune in live because I thought it would be hilarious. So, uh, and, and Mark talking about how you know businesses will sometimes implement fines. Usually, it's because of a contractual obligation, though. Be, uh, you know, yep. right. I have I have not signed a contract with the city. Um, so therefore I'm not obligated to your fines or whatnot. If it's two businesses are doing business with each other and one of them, you know, breaks a rule of the contract, then there could be consequences already in the contract. That easy example. Really easy example. To. I had a, a dentist, uh, agreement recently that I signed that said that, you know, if I fail to cancel an appointment, I've got an appointment and I have to cancel it. If I fail to cancel it, you know, if I fail to give them 48 hours notice, they'll let me get away with it with, uh, I think once. And then after that, if I do it again or like a second time or something, uh, or third time, anyway, after a certain number of times, they get fed up and they say, look, you know, from now on, if you want to schedule an appointment, you'll need to give us a $50 refundable deposit. 
Uh, and if you miss the appointment, we're going to keep the 50 bucks. And it was all laid right out there. And I put my name on that line. That's no problem. I can handle that responsibility. But that's the difference between operating under an agreement and the government, which of course makes up rules arbitrarily and then says, "Well, you better force, uh, you better, uh, you better do what we say, or we're going to force you to do it, or we're going to put you in a cage." And the the funniest thing about the whole trial was the city's attorneys. It was like amateur hour. Um, it isn't like <laughs> the first rule of asking questions is to never ask a question you don't already know the answer to. And oh, yeah. they were asking questions of their own witnesses, of the parking enforcers, that they didn't even know the answer to. Mm. And it was really hilarious when he was asking Linda questions. and Linda's one of the parking enforcers. Yeah, one of the parking enforcers' questions. And she had no idea what he was talking about. It's like, didn't you do <laughs> witness prep with this person? Right. Haven't you already discussed what you're going to talk they, about? They did the seem to be a little unprepared you would think he would do the witness prep because that's just more billable hours i mean they want to do stuff like that don't they i mean wouldn't they want to do depositions and things like that everything from i've heard from lawyers is like yeah you know whatever people got to pay us so um you know we do whatever we want eric anything else you want to share tonight uh no that's it for now hey thanks for the call cop block radio mm, peace, uh, that's, that's something you can check out hey what's the url for cop block radio these days uh, copblock.org slash podcast slash podcast all right very good and it's also heard live wednesday nights after free talk live on lrn.fm thanks eric toll free number is 855 450 free and did you know uh centurion that derek j our, our very own derek j is now one of the regular co-hosts on cop block radio i do and I'm, I'm so excited about that. I think he brings a, a level of energy and, uh, and and excitement to the show that it didn't have previously. And I really enjoy uh, hearing him on there. Although Derek, man, he I hope he doesn't get burned out. I mean, he's well on his way. He's uh, he's doing a lot, lot, lot for freedom. I mean, he's doing his show, I, Peace News and Now. And I told him I, I can fill in if anybody wants a break. He's doing Cop Block Radio. He's doing fill-ins for Angel Clark. He's now doing a Bitcoin talk show that he created um, he's doing, let's see, I know I'm leaving something out, Six Sad World, which is his new news kind of comedy thing. Yeah, that's so, uh, vid video. I mean, he is a media machine and uh, is doing amazing stuff. So I'm, I'm happy to see him continue to expand his brand as we continue with your calls and thoughts. Chris is in Ohio. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Chris. Hi. Uh, today I tried to donate blood okay. like I usually do, and I saw a chance for some uh, harmless non-cooperation. They All had right. a new question in the multitude of, of intrusive questions that they usually have. About yeah, this is, these are the questions disease. set up by the AABB. What's that? American Association of Blood Banks or something like that. All right. And they, uh, they want to know if and you're... Are you are you queer, son? You know, like uh, they, they want to know what's, uh, what country... You've been, to, you've been to an African country and had sex with somebody there, ain't you? You know, like it's really... That's right. It's Sounds invasive. Oh, yeah. It's bizarre stuff. Hey, what color yeah. are you? Did you call yourself Hispanic? Well, you know, like it's really weird stuff. <laughs> wow. Well, they didn't ask the, that question before. It used to just be things like, did you get off the bus in the Yucatan or something like that? Right. And uh, so today they, they added a what race are you question. All right, well, hang on. We'll get to, so, I want to get to your experience here, so hang on, Chris. I want to give you, make sure you have time to tell the story, and we're going to do that next. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. A perverted Homeland Security executive busted. We'll tell you what for. Come up. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads. This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting, insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. 
Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, August 6th, 2014, gold opened at 1308.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1356, 678 for a half ounce, or 339 for a quarter ounce. That's 1356, 678, and 339. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. We'll allow you to bring up anything that you'd like. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. We've got uh, Chris, who, who's on the line, going to tell us about non-cooperating with the blood bank. Uh, not exactly the first place I would think about non-cooperating, but apparently they ask some invasive questions. I've never gone through this. I've never uh, actually donated blood. It's not because I haven't thought about it. It's just because, you know, I've smoked pot for most of my adult life. And don't they ask you if they if you use Drugs or I don't something? know that they do. I don't know they if they. Don't. Ask, I don't know that they ask you if you smoke marijuana. Huh. Well, anyway, um, so we're going to get back into his. You don't call. seem to have a problem uh, admitting that you have smoked marijuana um, most of your adult life yeah. on this radio program. I don't know why you would have a problem if you went. Well, to I didn't know if that, that would you know affect. They the want blood. to know if you're from Kenya, though. I wouldn't know if that would affect the blood, though. Well, if you, you know return I mean? from Africa. So yeah, I, I would admit that uh, your your blood's likely likely to get anybody stoned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll continue with his call here in a moment. So uh, the Survival Training School of California, this is uh, this is the premier survival training program, frankly, in the world. There's no ra rating for survival training programs. You just kind of have to go with uh, the experience of the instructors. And their chief instructor over there, Thomas Coyne, um, here's his qualifications. Helicopter firefighting rescue crew member and helicopter uh, repeller, former uh, firefighter EMT, rescue team for the civilian space shuttle launches, uh, Kern County Fire Department squad leader, technical ropes rescue, 
um, water rescue, confined space rescue, hazmat, crash vehicle extraction, and more, more. It just keeps on going and going. Three branches of the United States military have trained with the Survival Training School of California. You can trust them. Go take a look at the classes they've got. They've got a, a pocket knife only class that they're they're giving here shortly. They've got uh, over weekend classes you can take with the family or just yourself. It's it's going to be great fun. Go check it out. CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Just go to the website and look at the media they've got there that they've managed to get covered by ABC, CBS, um, Channel 7, KCAL News, Men's Fitness, the Toronto Star, Will Smith's Earth After Survival Contest, um, World War Z. They, I mean... They've got the coverage, and if you're going to get survival training, this is the place to do it. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. I'd like to give it a try, too. CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. If you want to see if you're up to it, CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. Let me give you the telephone number, 805-503-8861. That telephone number is obviously at CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. All right, let's go back to Chris in Ohio. You were at the blood bank. You uh, were being interrogated, and you wanted to tell us about your situation there. So go ahead. Well, I mean, I've done this uh, d- a dozen or more times before. Yeah, and I'm, so I'm, used a, to I'm more than a gallon questions. myself. Yeah, I'm at two gallons. Good job. And so they, they, yeah, and part of the reason I do this and go through all those onerous questions is because I'm trying to uh, build up karma, I guess, if uh, – there's so many things that can knock you off the list. Like if you go for six months over to wherever, then you can't donate anymore. And mm-hmm. I'm just trying to, you know, donate while I am still in health to be able to do that. So here's what amazes so, me about it. I had to go to, I went to Haiti to deliver some school supplies for a radio station back, uh, and it's been many years. And I ha- couldn't give for a year at that point. Now, I asked them why. Mm-hmm. And essentially, it's because I could have sex with somebody while I was there in Haiti. Now, mind you, I was on the ground for fewer than 24 hours. I don't know how exactly I would have pulled that off. But that either way, you can ask me that question if that's the question you need to have an answer to, because they're asking a bunch of other questions, too. Have that's why you, I beat around the bush. Yeah, you, you know, have you ever had uh, Crutchfield Jacobs disease or, you know, the, this whole list of weird stuff? I don't even know who Crutchfield and Jacob are. You know, th- they just ask you a bunch of weird things. You could lie, too. Like, how do they know you're telling the truth? It's not like they have a screening process. Right. They don't know. that. If if I said, no, I haven't been outside the country, then that's it. Yeah. Actually, I was going to – I've been mentioning a a baldness drug that I tried uh, about 10 or 12 years ago, and they always say, have you ever taken this? And all their literature just says, you know, you can't donate if it's been in the last six months. But then they say, have you ever taken it? I was going to say no this time. Right. So I was kind of in an ordinary mood. So they had a, a thing about race, which they've never had before. And they said, are you? And I said, well, that doesn't matter. I don't really, I don't, how do I know what your terminology means? What does Latino really mean? How do I know what my or race is? I was just reading an article exactly. today about some people that, uh, it, Appalachian, Appalachian folks that thought that they were Portuguese. Turns out they're half black, half white because their parents didn't want to say that. Hmm. So I said human. And the Good lady one. was was shocked. And, uh, you know, and then she's like, ha ha. I, I, I expected her to say, ha ha, good one or something, because there's not much humor in the screening process. Yeah. But, but she was like genuinely surprised by that. And then like, OK, um, give me a real answer. And she listed off the, the six or whatever. And I said, I don't know. And she was shocked by that, too. And she wanted me to say one. And I said, Finally, you tried to do other just because that sounded vague, and I mm-hmm. figured that would – if there was a medical reason for this, then they would have their answer that this guy doesn't know and treat the blood that way because the other 16 times, it didn't really matter. Um, you know, that they took my blood and didn't tell me sure. that it was you know, awful so, or not used or anything. Did she accept so, your answer of other? No, she went to she. They had. Some you don't look like another to me. That's where the, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You're not othery enough to be another. 
she said, <laughs> are, do you have Latino? Do you have Latino heritage or something like that? And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Either. You look a little beige. So, uh, <laughs> and Man, so I, this lady's I, uh, really pushing this called, one question. I mean, like a bureaucrat. Mm. So she called her supervisor, which is fine. I understand, you know, hey, he's not answering the question. I should get my boss. So he, she came over. And she insisted as well. And I, hmm. I was like, you know, I'm not going to answer because I don't know. If, you, if it's just appearance, go ahead and classify me. I, you know, what hmm. do I look like? I would have told and her everything. I would have told her everything. I would have said black, Italian, Italian Native American, <laughs> Alaskan, Russian. I, I would have went through the whole line. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying not to, I, you know, I try to tell the truth so that they have their – they're the true whatever they're yep. doing. But when it comes to um, ethnicity, you don't know the truth unless you've you taken had a some, test done, right, Mark? I had a test. Aren't done. you Native American? I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Black? I, Aren't you black as well? No, no. My, my wife. Black? My wife's got a little bit of okay. a, a little. A little black. My mom's there, been with a lot of men. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to come up with uh, the joke that my wife and I talk about uh, me oppressing her now that uh, you know she's black. I but see. your joke's much better. <laughs> Mark, were you, was that a blood test or was that something else? Saliva through one of those DNA things. Okay. So you'd think they could do the same kind of test sure. for me? Like, Cheap oh, culture. the don't know guy needs a test for whatever. Well, the people we that do know need money. a test. If you really, if ethnicity matters here, you shouldn't be taking people's word for it. They don't know. All right, Chris, uh, we'll find out the rest of your story. I, you left us at the cliffhanger. What ultimately happened? The, the supervisors called in. I mean, this guy won't answer a question about his race. How dare he? I mean, what? Who How cares? How dare he say he's human? Is his blood clean? That's all that matters, right? We all bleed the same, don't we? It's free talk live. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you'd like by dialing toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, Ian here. Centurion. And Mark. And Centurion joining us from copblock.org. We'll continue with your calls and thoughts. And Mark, tell me about how to keep your teeth super, super clean. Well, My Magic Mud. Um, if you go to MyMagicMud.com, you can see a video that was produced by... Well, not produced by, but in which uh, Dr. Griffin Cole, a biological dentist, is talking about the benefits of My Magic Mud. Now, I've been using My Magic Mud probably going on two months now, and I'm never going to be without it. It is a such a great tooth cleaning. Uh, I don't know what to even call it. It's a it's a powder. It's a powder, it's, yeah. And it's it's black as it could possibly be. That's why they call it My Magic Mud. Some of the benefits are. It just gets my teeth a, a heck of a lot cleaner than toothpaste uh, itself ever did. You know, you brush your teeth with toothpaste at night, you wake up in the morning, you kind of have this film on your teeth. Not with My Magic Mud. I use My Magic Mud now maybe two or three times a week. My teeth constantly feel clean. I think it goes in and sort of grabs, because it's it's charcoal, um, you know, charcoalized uh, coconut husks and bentonite clay. It, it goes in and it bonds with the, the little bacteria guys and just pulls them right out of there. And they never have a chance to, to breed and make cavities and put that film on your teeth. Another thing is, is if you have gum sensitivity or tooth sensitivity, My Magic Mud has done wonders for people who, who have this. Now, I don't have it. wasn't an issue of mine. And a lot of people are really sensitive to tastes as far as uh, toothbrush, toothpaste go and that kind of thing. My Magic Mud, completely tasteless. It is an amazing uh, whitener. One application, you'll see the difference. Four applications, for me, got rid of every stain that was on my teeth. And I think it's just great. MyMagicMud.com. Go take a look at that video there by uh, Dr. Griffin Cole. MyMagicMud.com. All right, so again, our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. Chris in Ohio has called in to tell us about an experience he had, a pretty ridiculous experience of blood donor uh, operator types uh, running the blood mobile or maybe, I don't know, where was it that you went, Chris? Was it like a, a mobile kind at, of location? At my work. So they no, came to I was you. At my work, I was I was trying to get yeah. They came to my work, and I was trying to get out of a boring meeting. <laughs> right. So I signed up uh, for the ten o'clock uh, shift and inst uh, session instead of uh, something later, like I usually would. And this is something so anyways, you've done they, before. Many times, yes. Yeah. And so this at was the, the first time you'd encountered a question about what is your race. You did not want to answer that question. Ultimately, you said. Well, I didn't, other, go ahead. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't. The other ones all have uh, all have disease and or you know uh, could affect the you know the quality of the blood. You know whether it has a disease or some other problem with it. You know if it doesn't have enough iron in it, then it's you know a, a problem. But they wanted to know my race, and I was actually pretty steadfast in uh, either. Telling him I didn't know, or t 
telling them that I just wanted to be an other or human, but they wouldn't accept that one because <laughs> it wasn't on the list. So they the lady saying. calls in her supervisor, and then what happened? So she came in and tried to get me to answer the questions as well, and uh, and then she tried to to reason with me as to why all of a sudden, you know, this time they need to know my race. And it was because if, well, she said that uh, there's a, a, a um, I don't know what do you even call it, a, a symptom, uh, not a symptom, but a, uh, a problem where uh, 20 people, I did some research since then, uh, 20 people died of transfusion-related acute lung injury, and they shortened it to TRA, T-R-A-L-I. And apparently that has, she was claiming that it had something to do with racial markers in the blood. Then they should be testing for those to, things. I, I totally agree. It's just so ludicrous to I, take people's, because uh, if you walk down the street for it, yeah. and you ask people what their race is, and then you do DNA tests on them, you're going to find out they don't know. They think that they're mm-hmm. this and they think they're that, um, and you know they just they just don't know. You you think you given blood before should have answered ninety percent of their questions. I would think that, yeah. So, so what so, ultimately anyway, happened here? Uh, she said, "Well, then if you can't answer that question, then you can't donate today." Damn. And so I went. I. Well, left, you did answer the question. You, know, you said okay. other. So she was not accepting your other answer? Well, and then it went to that treat into how much Hispanic do you have? And I'm like, I don't know really what Hispanic means, except I don't even know, really. Um, so I just said, I don't know that the answer to that question, and then they let me go. And so I wrote a, a letter to uh, the Red Cross and did a bunch of research into it, and I haven't found one mention of race and this trolley or whatever it is, T-R-A-L-I, tr- uh, transfusion-related So do you think disease. they were making it up and they were just being hard? or? I think they might have been doing research, and they wanted to like have people self-report on race and, <laughs> uh, and record these mar- markers and then see how many— and then you know trace the blood through to whoever died from this— um, thing that happens to one out of every couple of thousand Sounds blood crazy. transfusion people. Well, you would think that you're not dead and you're walking in and you're alive and healthy that that would have answered that question. So the important it, question is, did you get out of the boring meeting for enough time to where you didn't have to go back? I had to go I had to go in and, uh, yeah, Damn I it. had to go in. All right, Chris, thanks for the call tonight, man. appreciate the story. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Have I you wonder done if you a- get any of the punch and crackers. They always got that stuff. Uh, that, that's afterwards, right? Yeah. Well, you know, you just wander down there. I guess. Uh, but I act like I own the place. <laughs> uh, anyway, maybe you've got an experience from the blood donation mobile or whatever they call it. Is it always called the blood mobile? That's what they call it down in, in Florida. They always call it that? I think so. I There's also the book mobile down there, too. Anyway, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. Hey, there's news out of the Wikipedia. You know, we talked about... Like a week and a half ago that uh, Wikipedia started taking Bitcoin. In point of fact, Mark, you uh, had emailed them a couple years ago, right? Asking them to take Bitcoin when they, you know, they do these pledge drives. Because Wikipedia is probably one of the most used websites in the entire world. Yep. It's probably one of the most useful websites in the entire world. And, you know, I support them when they ask for the money. I'll usually throw them five or ten bucks or something like that. Uh, but, Mark, you'd actually been withholding your support from Wikipedia because they wouldn't take Bitcoin. Right. I wanted them to take Bitcoin. I wanted them. I wanted to be able to donate the way I wanted to donate. And this was a, it's two or three years ago. And so I wrote them a little email and saying, hey, I'd like to donate in Bitcoin. And they wrote me a, an email back saying something to the effect of they, they have a, a responsibility to – uh, their donors to watch, uh, you know, watch a, you know, or a responsibility to be uh, careful with uh, their money. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, I would pr- appreciate you being responsible with your money. This is, however, my money we're talking about, and you should accept my money. Um, you can <laughs> trade in uh, the bitcoins as quickly as you want to trade them in, but I want to donate to Wikipedia in Bitcoin. And um, what you're being at this point is not 
uh, fiduciarily responsible with your money because you're refusing money because somebody won't give it to the, you the way you want. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then they came back and they're like, we're just not ready to do Bitcoin today. Gotcha. And I was like, you get back to me. Because I used to give 10 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. I think it was 10 to Wikipedia every year because I used Wikipedia and I found it to be a great source. Jeez, Mark, you changed them. <laughs> so they uh, at this point then you know they you know they they announced that they're going to do it. I'm like, well, I guess I'll give them a little bonus. Now I pro guess I'd miss maybe 3 years. I gave them a full bitcoin which was worth about 600 bucks. And what I wonder to myself is, is, was this just a good plan on their part all along? Let's just wait and then people reward us with much more bitcoin. They wouldn't have known that. I don't know. And they, I mean, they would. They get one hundred and forty thousand dollars in like a week. Yeah, but I mean, had they <laughs> taken them two years ago, maybe they would have gotten away more ultimately because people would have given them X, and then today that would have been worth, you know, six hundred times that. All right, more coming up here. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. We'll tell you more. It's free talk live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Prim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained AngioPrim consultant. Call AngioPrim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. AngioPrim.com. That's AngioPrim.com. Find out how AngioPrim can work for you. Get the facts about AngioPrim at AngioPrim.com. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the fields is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's ProFlowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. If you're looking for work, you know what I mean by elevator speech. It's the short version, saying just enough to make the listener want to listen more. Even if you're not a job seeker, effective communication skills have never been more important with money and attention so scarce now. So to cut through the clutter, choose every single word as though it was the last word the person you're speaking to will hear. Otherwise, it might be. Instead of saying, due to the fact that, say, because, and avoid mispronunciations. Say jewelry, not jewelry, which could offend. Undoubtedly, you don't want to say undoubtedly. And whatever you do, never use a preposition to end a sentence with. Just kidding. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. 
if he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you there. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. And if you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, then please get your shopping taken care of through shop.freetalklive.com. You enter Amazon through the links that you'll find there, and Free Talk Live will get a a portion of the sale. I mean, whatever it is you need to buy, Amazon probably sells it. They've got a huge selection with a lot of products and even uh, great reviews that can help you learn more about what it is you're considering buying before you do that, before you pull the trigger. So again, go to shop.freetalklive.com. And also, of course, we've been talking about Bitcoin here and there. Uh, Centurion is with us from Coplock. You said off the air, Centurion, you're still kind of new to the whole Bitcoin thing. Does that mean you don't yet have a a Bitcoin wallet for yourself? I I, I just I've been ex- people explained it to me probably like five or six times, and I think the reason why I don't get it is because I'm so used to money. Mm-hmm. You know, you deal with money all your life, and going to something different. You know, it's a paradigm shift. I mean, it's a total. I don't know if it's a total shift, but it's a pretty significant shift. In the way we think about money, and the in the fact that it's also labeled too, because my conspiracy way of thinking, I want want something that's trackless, and you know, I rather you know invest in gold and silver. But I, I'm I might be heading. I that like way gold soon. and silver. And let me tell you, if you want to get gold and silver, go to gold.freetalklive.com. We can get you great prices on gold and silver, uh, numismatics, as well as you know stuff like ninety uh, percent silver as well. That what's called junk silver. You get the fine point nine 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 silver as well through uh, through the folks over the Midas Resources. Coin silver, essentially, yeah. um, silver and uh, you know you're talking about old dimes, old quarters, old right, pre nineteen sixty five. About I that, yeah. So Sounds good. Those things are cool, and you know they're neat. But the pro- the problem with gold and silver is that you know they don't just tra- you just can't transmit them on the internet, and Bitcoin solves that problem. So the neat thing is, uh, you know, Bitcoin is doing all kinds of exciting things. Like Wikipedia is taking Bitcoin now, and it was at, uh, just about two weeks ago when they announced this. Within one week of accepting Bitcoin, Wikipedia racked up a hundred and forty thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. In new funding, according to Coinbase, which is the service that powers its cryptocurrency influx, uh, Coinbase, a publication that tracks Bitcoin and other alter- excuse me, CoinDesk, a publication that tracks Bitcoin and other alternative digital currencies, heralds the news as suggesting, quote, the staying power of digital currency donations owing to the combination of tax benefits and transaction cost savings. I'm slightly more skeptical, says the author at TechCrunch, but it is without doubt that the donations are welcome at Wikipedia. I mean, this is about as big as it gets on the internet. I mean, until Google or Facebook takes Bitcoin, I mean, Wikipedia, I don't know if it's the number three site, but it sure does feel like it's the number three site. At least I know I'm a fairly frequent user of of Wikipedia. I I can only think of certain sites that are out there that I use on a regular basis. Facebook, Google, and Wikipedia are the, probably the top three. The first time I heard about Bitcoin was actually on a primetime show. Believe what, it or what not. primetime show? Like television? Yeah. It was a person of interest last season. Oh, they actually wrote it into a fiction show. Yeah. Was that the courtroom scene? Were they talking no, about? They, I think it, it was one of the persons he was helping, and they mentioned something like Bitcoin. Hmm. Oh, I, I bet you he uses Bitcoin, you know, something like <laughs> He's that. He's a criminal. He must use yeah. Bitcoin. That's exactly how it yeah. was portrayed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm looking at uh, Wikipedia's list of uh, most popular websites. Google is number one, and yep. Facebook is number two. Number three is YouTube, which, of course, ah, is still also Google. Google again, yeah. so that moves it to number one even more so. Yep. 
Number four is Yahoo, mm. wow, which I'm still kind of there. surprised. Uh, <laughs> I was a little, little stunned. A lot of people still holding on to the Yahoo email account. Man, you know, you got to give them credit. I, I mean, I've, I've been using Yahoo since the beginning of the internet, and a lot of the other search engines have come and gone. Yeah. Or maybe they're still out there. But Lycos. Alta Vista. I used yeah. to use that yeah. one in the yeah. 90s. I think they're I think they're still there. They got to be. But, you know, they don't show up on anybody's radar. Something Bing, Bing's not in there? Um, not on this. Probably not even the not, top not 10. On the, not above the fold here, yeah. I should say. Um, something called Baidu, B-A-I-D-U.com. I haven't gone okay. and taken a look at it, but it's a search engine. And this is global or United States? Global. Okay. And number six is Wikipedia. So wow, not if bad. you remove search engines uh, from the list here, you... Baidu's a search engine. Right. It looks like uh, Japanese or That's Chinese. That's what I mean. Okay, I did say that. I'm sorry. Search engine, um, but uh, if you remove search engines uh, here from uh, the listing, then yes, they are number three. Oh wow, that's cool. So yeah, big news that Wiki's got it, and uh, Wiki's taking Bitcoin, hundred and forty thousand dollars. As TechCrunch previously reported, Wikimedia Foundation, the parent to Wikipedia, doesn't intend to hold the Bitcoin, but instead converted to dollars at the time of donation, which is unfortunate. Uh, TechCrunch also noted that the foundation raised $18.7 million last year, making this 140000 uh, 140, less than 1% of its prior haul, but 1% in a week could add up to a tidy figure provided Bitcoin donations continue. And uh, Coinbase does not charge non uh, nonprofits transaction fees. So, you know, not a huge chunk of the total amount they raise. And sad that they would they would cash it all out uh, into into cash. I mean, I understand the motivation when it comes to a business wanting to cash out the money that they get in Bitcoin. Like, for instance, when we interviewed Overstock's CEO, uh, Patrick Byrne. Yeah. And I asked him. How much are you keeping of the Bitcoin donate or not donations, but of the Bitcoin sales that you bring in? How much of it are you actually keeping in Bitcoin? And he said it was ten percent. It's great, which is better than zero, which is what Wikipedia is doing here. Yeah. And you know, at least Wikipedia is just accept. Oh, look, yeah, I guess we're gonna we could do this, and it'd be easy to get some cash and stuff. Yeah, you know, fine. And it might be a shareholder decision too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how the Wikipedia is run. I imagine it is some sort of board of directors uh, like that. I, I don't know. But it's if they, it's obviously they don't have the vision for Bitcoin. They here. don't. If they had taken my Bitcoins three years ago when I was offering them, they'd have a heck right. of a lot more money and just held on to them. They'd have right. a heck of a lot more money in value than, um, than uh, they would otherwise, and they don't want to do that. That's fine. So I guess you know the good thing for them is that the Bitcoin uh, donations are going to be next to f uh, free as far as the the fees are concerned. So you know when uh, you take a credit card transaction, there's usually some sort of overhead. Although some credit card companies give uh, don't they give a break to nonprofits in certain cases? I don't know the answer to that, but you know Bitcoin, there's money to get in a Bitcoin and money to get out of Bitcoin. So it's really sort of mitigable when you compare it to credit card transactions um, on the the internet. That's true. So, um, but you know, that's th that's that. It, it, but if people want to donate that way, then you should let people donate the way they want to donate. What's going to make Bitcoin? What's really going to you know uh, make Bitcoin catch is there's these poor folks around the world send an incredible amount of money, not individually, but as an aggregate, send a lot of money back home to uh, to take care of families where. It's much harder to find work when those people can spend that uh, the bitcoins that they get sent on site. That'll make a big difference because when you're talking about Western Union and you know these other ways that people send money, they take a lot of those people's money, and so they're going to quickly move over to services that take far of a far smaller percentage. If you Bitcoin takes nothing, I mean at the most, if you add a transaction <laughs> fee just for kicks, it'll be a couple of pennies. So I'm looking at an article here that's actually fairly recent about Overstock. We had talked about Overstock.com being the first Bitcoin business or the Bitcoin accepting business that's over a billion dollars were in worth, uh, I guess, yearly. And Overstock, this according to Mashable.com, when it began taking Bitcoin, it posted a one million sales, uh, one million in sales in Bitcoin two months later. It's huge. <laughs> Wow. It's so enamored with the currency, it's offering employee bonuses in Bitcoin, which wow. is a really cool idea. So again, he's holding on to uh, some of that Bitcoin that they're getting, and apparently now they're offering their employees an option. So they can opt to take their bonus this year in Bitcoin, and if they do that, they'll get more. They get a, they get a bonus 
for t they get an extra bonus. They get a bonus on their bonus if they take their bonus in Bitcoin versus in U.S. dollars. Sweet. Neat way to incentivize all your employees to really, you know, okay, you guys have got the memo that we're taking Bitcoin, but just because Overstock's taking Bitcoin doesn't mean all their employees care or even know about it. I've spoken to their employees, and uh, you know, there's there seems to be seem to be just in the meeting that I was uh, the teleconference I was in, just a sort of different levels of acceptance when it came to Bitcoin. Uh, so their initial Bitcoin sales eclipsed $2 million recently. Recently, So the first month was a $1 million in sales, which was in January. And so it slowed over the last six months, the amount in Bitcoin well, they've been taking in. People initially wanted to support Overstock.com, but I mean, when you're not uh, top of mind, you're not top of mind. That's why we have advertising. Bitcoin sales account for about 0.25%, so less than a qu about a quarter percent of the average day's sales. Uh, and by the way, interesting detail here, the number one state for people buying from overstock with Bitcoin is? And New Hampshire. Yes, New Hampshire. Yeah. We're coming up here. It's Free Talk Live. Safety, safety, safety. I'm saying it three times. Studies show you need to hear something three times to remember it. So remember, safety, safety, safety is important to me, me, me. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products to help keep our facilities safe and people safer. Say it with me, kid. Safety, safety, safety from Granger, Granger, Granger. When you think safety, think Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Lumber Liquidators buys direct from the mills, giving you the largest selection of hardwood flooring at the lowest prices. Right now, choose from over 150 hardwoods on sale, including beautiful and stylish white plank pre-finished red oak for just $179 a square foot. That's less than half what you could pay at other stores. Plus, get Dream Home Laminate and Tranquility Vinyl Flooring for 20% off and bamboo for only $179. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. More great deals and special 12-month financing available. But hurry, this sale ends Tuesday. Why does a U.S. orthodontist make more than some CEOs? You get that dental bill and you'll know. Implants, partial or full bridge, the kids need braces? Fractions of U.S. prices. Balloon angioplasty for heart patients in the U.S. is $50,000. Thailand, under $7,000. Heart bypass, joint and hip replacement, cancer, many procedures under the price of your Obamacare deductible and copay. Don't risk bankruptcy. Hit us up now. We'll show you how at asiarunlikehellguide.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Canaan, the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, August 7th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.94 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,304 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $585. Antiwar.com reports, As the world reacts to the horror at footage of the carnage in the Gaza war, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was defiant, defending the massive civilian death toll of Israeli attacks as entirely justified and proportional. Netanyahu went on to claim that the attacks on UN schools, full of civilians, were not only appropriate, but that it would have been a moral mistake to not attack those schools because it would have given Hamas de facto permission to launch attacks from those schools. Not attacking the schools and killing scores of innocent refugees, Netanyahu argued, would hand enormous victory to terrorists everywhere and would have aided groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda. He went on to demand that the international community push Hamas for child sacrifice charges for the 460 children Israel killed in attacks, saying that not punishing Hamas would legitimize them. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. 
I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. USA Today reports the Department of Justice and Bank of America have reached a record settlement in principle in which the bank will pay just under $17 billion to resolve allegations related to fraudulent marketing of mortgage-backed securities that helped cause the nation's economic crisis, according to an official with knowledge of the negotiations. The tentative deal reached July 30th during a night telephone conversation between Attorney General Eric Holder and Brian Moynihan, CEO of the nation's second largest bank, surpasses a similar $13 billion settlement with J.P. Morgan Chase last November, according to the official, who is not authorized to comment publicly. Last week's telephone call, the official says, came as justice officials in New Jersey prepared to file a complaint against Merrill Lynch, a unit that Bank of America acquired during the financial crisis. The official says the bank then requested the call with Holder and subsequently raised its payment offer to reach a tentative settlement. Although there is an agreement in principle on the value of the deal, the official said there are other issues that have yet to be resolved and it could be days before any public announcement is made. A second government official briefed on the negotiations, said the settlement is expected to include hundreds of millions of dollars in consumer relief to help struggling homeowners cope with their mortgages. The official, who also was not authorized to speak publicly because the negotiations are confidential, cautioned that final deal terms are not yet complete. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 Reuters reports, U.S. President Barack Obama said on Wednesday that Ukraine did not need additional military assistance to fight insurgents in the eastern part of the country, but a Russian invasion would raise a different set of questions. Obama's comments came after NATO said on Wednesday that Russia had amassed some 20,000 troops on Ukraine's border and could use the pretext of a humanitarian mission to invade. At a news conference at the conclusion of the U.S.-Africa summit in Washington, Obama was asked whether the U.S. would reconsider consider sending lethal aid to Ukraine. Obama said, well, keep in mind that the Russian army is a lot bigger than the Ukrainian army, so the issue here is not whether the Ukrainian army has some additional weaponry, noting that the separatists had not been able to match the Ukrainian army's strength so far, despite causing a lot of violence. He added, now, if you start seeing an invasion by Russia, that's obviously a different set of questions. We're not there yet. The White House said Vice President Joe Biden spoke with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko on Wednesday about the situation on the border with Russia. Obama said the United States would continue to work on a day-by-day, week-by-week basis to determine what Ukraine needs to defend itself against separatists who were supposedly backed by Moscow. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. A Colorado man reminisced Monday about a simpler time when he only masturbated to still images on the internet. 36-year-old Timothy Barchuk, who now says he requires multiple streaming hardcore videos just to get excited, willfully reflected on the days of waiting for slowly loading images of naked women to appear. Look at this picture of Phoebe Cates. Sure, you can pull up in two seconds now. Back in the old days, you'd have to wait for it to materialize on your screen pixel by pixel. It's not about her tits, which are nice, but it's about waiting for them. Nowadays, you can pull up eight different videos of anal sex at once. Who cares? In local news, the person who will one day become the warlord ruler of what was once Nebraska is born in an Omaha hospital. And in other news, a man and woman get drunk and blow $30,000 in one night. A lonely college student calls up his mom to talk about Harold and Kumar, and another dead body is tossed on a heap somewhere. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Want to welcome our brand newest affiliate, 
Freedom 93 FM in WVFT in Tallahassee. Okay, so we've already been on uh, WVFT Freedom 93 there in uh, Tallahassee on weekends, but now you're hearing us on weeknights every night. In fact, we're now seven nights a week in Tallahassee, which is awesome. Tallahassee is one of the only markets, probably the most changed market as yeah, far as free talk we've been on so live. many radio stations in <laughs> Tallahassee. <laughs> so um, we're glad to be on WVFT now uh, over there, and it's a great FM station, 93 point, uh, I think, I forget what it is. 90, they call themselves 93 FM, uh, so they're close to 93, but obviously not 93.0 because it's the odd numbers in uh, the FM band in uh, in the United States. So welcome aboard. So and- it's either... Um, 92.9 or um, 93.1, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like 93.1. But I'll find that out for you, Mark. Uh, that's an important detail. But if you're already if you're already listening, it doesn't really matter. You're you're tuned to the right station. <laughs> a lot of people presets. don't know that though. That it's the every other, um, you know, in the, every other uh, the, the odd numbered uh, decimal places. People don't know FM. that. I mean, if they've ever used their radios, they probably they just know probably that, don't right? recognize it. They don't pay attention to those yeah. to those little details. So uh, welcome aboard. We love being on FM Talk. That's where we were born. Uh, Free Talk Live started on an FM Talk station in Florida, actually, down in Sarasota. And so, you know, we got some stuff in common with you guys down there. So uh, so welcome to the show. And you are, if you're listening in Tallahassee, you're listening on what's called a delay broadcast, which means you can call in while we're live between 7 and uh, 10 o'clock at night Eastern time, which they're starting at 9. So um, you're probably hearing our first hour you know, two hours after we've done it. So feel free. You can still call in about those topics. There's no, we don't uh, maintain order like the same, the, the, the other shows out there. You know, the, the, a lot of talk shows, the host picks a topic and then you will stay on that topic for that hour. And if you call about something that's outside of that topic, Too then bad. you will not be allowed on the show. Well, that's not how it goes here on Free Talk Live. You can call in anytime about anything, even if it's not a topic we're talking about tonight. It could be something we talked about a week ago, uh, or it can be something you've never heard us talk about ever. Go for it. Feel free. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We go to Greg in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Greg. Hey, guys. How are you doing? What's on your mind tonight, Greg? Go ahead. I'm here with my friend, the demon. He was uh, he brought up an interesting topic, which is uh, the current immigration uh, debacle. Uh, and I just wanted to know what you guys think of it. Basically, uh, immigration is cool, but what if, uh, you know, in a libertarian society, I guess, if, uh, if you have a country or a city or a state and the citizens are doing well, how lax would your immigration policies be? Would you make people sign a contract or turn them away? So what's your take on uh, the current uh, situation? Well, first of all, I don't know if Centurion is a libertarian. I'm not really sure what his political viewpoint is. <laughs> I so you want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to be a, a libertarian to be involved in copblock.org. And we'll get your opinion on immigration here. I'll throw mine out first. I don't know what the current debacle is. I know that the government is definitely using uh, immigrants as a political football between the Republicans and the Democrats. That much I'm pretty sure of. Uh, there's you know all kinds of stories usually in the news about these terrible, uh, allegedly dangerous people coming here, but really, in this case, it's teenagers. The reality, and young kids. the reality of immigration to me is that most of the people coming here just want a better life for themselves. And and you know, as far as I'm concerned, if you want to come to an ostensibly free place, uh, you shouldn't have to ask some government bureaucrats' permission. So my ideal situation would be to abolish the immigration service, Absolutely. the INS or the ICE or whatever the hell they call themselves these days. Get rid of those bureaucrats and then. Uh, just make it so anybody can come to a place as long as they've got permission to be there. So if I want a property owner, right from the property owner. So for instance, uh, you know, uh, Centurion, if you were not originally from, was it New York? Where are you from? Yep. Uh, so if you weren't originally from New York, but you were instead from Sicily or something like that. Uh, and I decided, you know, I, I need somebody to come here to Keen to help me out with my radio broadcast, and I want to put you up in my house and give you a job. I should be free to do that, and nobody should be free to question me about that. I, I think anybody that shows any amount of power or force towards any human being saying you cannot do this or cannot do that as a human being, there's a huge problem. So as far as immigration, I don't even—just the word alone— Offends me. Right. It, yeah. We call it moving, traveling. <laughs> so there you go. I think that's. I think that pretty much sums up the position. Go ahead, Greg. Okay. No, that makes oh, sense. Hang on a sec. You're kind of low there. I'm bringing you back up. Go ahead. Can I just ask a question? This is my friend, Vadim. Your friend who? 
Uh, Vadim. Oh, Vadim. Okay, go ahead. Yep. I'm concerned. Aren't you guys afraid that if the borders were open like that, the country would be overrun by virtually billions of people? No, so absolutely people not. Are... I'm not afraid of, uh, of people coming here to make a better life for themselves. The United States is prepared for a lot of people to come here. There are a lot of open spaces here, for instance. I think the numbers I've seen most recently were like 96 or 97 percent completely open, basically. There's only like you know three or four percent of the country that's ultimately urbanized in any meaningful way. So there's plenty of open space for people to come here and build but new I, cities. But I don't think anybody has the obligation to take care of these people. If they come here, um, their medical, their um, you know, their food, their housing, everything is their responsibility. They can rent a hotel room, they can rent an apartment, they can buy a house, they can have a travel trailer, Over, they can build a shack um, on land they own. Yeah, overpopulation is just fear mongering. It's just straight up fear mongering from people who want to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt about the idea of people coming here. When they to this move country. here, they're going to buy food, they're going to buy uh, gasoline, they're going to purchase housing, they're going to do all kinds of things to stimulate the economy. If you want to jumpstart the U.S. economy, allow people to come here and build a better life for themselves. Okay. Thank you. I never heard that viewpoint before. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for the the call tonight. I definitely appreciate hearing from you. It sounds like a windy night there uh, in New York. A little, a little bit of phone noise in the background. But yeah, I think this is really one of the most important issues of our time and also one of the most misunderstood, unfortunately, because people's lives are in the balance here. And when uh, the government makes changes and they enforce these laws, then that destroys families, it destroys freedom, it destroys our freedom as well. I mean, the people that are out there clamoring for, we got to stop those illegal immigrants. Well, guess what? You build that wall, it's going to keep they, you they in. They were here to begin with, with immigrants. Their great-grandparents of came course. With, were well, immigrants. But, but, the, the, but they want to close the doors to the club now, Centurion. Now, yeah. now that they're yeah. in the club, well, we know we need we don't need any new members here, so we're just going to lock the rest of you any guys Any amount out. of force towards another entity, it just offends me. It's uh, it's horrifying. It actually. offends me. It's horrifying. And if you look at the uh, you know look at the stories of like the factory towns, for instance, that the feds have gone in and they've raided businesses. Feds. They've raided businesses and taken a look at all their files and checked paperwork on all their employees and rounded up their employees to the point where these businesses have had to shut down operations and the towns have died because they're like little towns that are kind of built up around the existence of this business. And these towns have, uh, you know, have had a very, very tough time. Well, the, the feds are coming into out. shops in, in Keene that aren't owned by immigrants is still still in this stuff so it doesn't matter if you're an immigrant or not they're still just going to come in and steal your stuff for no reason whatsoever well that guy's well. first name i think is panos and with a name like that i imagine it weren't it wasn't too many generations away when his uh his relatives moved here too well fat stuff yeah oh. the, the smoke shop downtown yeah so toll free number here tonight 855 450 free yeah you shouldn't have to ask anybody's permission to move from one point to another and if the united states wants to pretend like it's you know a free place, then people should be allowed to come here. It sure I, sounds like the Berlin Wall to me. You know, you're you're right, Mark. That you know, welfare shouldn't be available to those people. But I don't think welfare should be available to anybody from the government. I think that people who need help should turn to their friends and their neighbors and their communities and turn to local groups like charities to to try to get help. And that we don't need some one size fits all government program. But remember, when you build the wall, the wall is going to keep you in too. And if you don't think the wall is going to keep you in, you're fooling yourself. There's no time in history where the wall hasn't been used to keep you in. Well, and the, the wall is figurative, too. People have all kinds of plans on how to make this whole immigration thing work, but all they have to do is enslaving other people. You know, oh, let's do some checks on the road to make sure that they're not immigrants. Let's go house to house to make sure there's no immigrants here. Um, and I hate this term, immigrant. These are just people who have moved. You know, immigrant is somebody who's moved across some imaginary line you're talking about. You might as well just use the term contraband at this point. It's well, just using, a- the, using the phrase immigration reform, too, on both sides— just it, that offends me as well because you're using a human being to yep. get votes. That's exactly political football is what are they they're turning humans' lives into here. We'll come back with more of your calls and thoughts. Welcome eight fifty five four fifty free eight five five four five zero three seven three three. It's free talk live. 
Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E.com. In a far future universe, Earth's fleet is shattered, rife with guerrilla warfare, interspecies diplomacy, and full-scale interstellar combat. Humanity is about to face its trial by fire. Trial by Fire, book two in the tales of the Terran Republic, sequel to the national best-selling and award-winning Fire with Fire by distinguished professor and author Charles Gannon. Get it now from Amazon through shop.freetalklive.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. Three-year-old child lost his arm after being viciously attacked by a pit bull terrier earlier this month. Gosh. Now the incident has moved a state lawmaker to author legislation that will effectively ban the pit bull breed in the entire state of Oklahoma. Wow. Wouldn't um, all of uh, Mr. Wesselhoff's constituents be a little safer if if we all just couldn't have any dogs at all? That's true. It would guarantee that no one would uh, be bitten by dogs. Right. And then in no cats. What about cats? They scratch people. They they do scratch people. And it... You know, there, it it's, it leaves a nasty infection. It could, certainly. It, it certainly. We should ban infections, too, while mm-hmm. we're at it. I mean, while we're protecting everyone from everything. Birds can carry the flu. We know yep. that. You know, so. we should just exterminate all, all animals with teeth. <laughs> well, forget the teeth. <laughs> the birds have no teeth. I say we kill them all. Uh, just every animal. Yeah. Okay. What about insects? You could just sign a law that bans mosquitoes. <laughs> That'd be great. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free here at 855-453. That is the number brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian. Centurion. And Mark. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. If you're looking to get cryptocurrencies, we were just talking earlier about Bitcoins, and that's certainly the chief among the cryptocurrencies. You can go through expresscoin.com. Expresscoin.com is the best way because they make it easy, fast, Completely legal. They're a money services business, uh, inexpensive. 
they pride themselves on their customer service. I was just involved today, as a matter of fact, with a customer service situation. I'm amazed at the lightning speed that ExpressCoin solves people's problems. Um, I've done a lot of business with ExpressCoin, and I can't uh, recommend them highly enough. ExpressCoin.com, they're focused on meeting your needs. Whatever cryptocurrency you might want to get, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin, whether you're in the United States or Canada, and... If you just want to try it out, you just want to get a little cryptocurrency to try it out, use coupon code FTL, that's FTL as in Free Talk Live, to get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrencies at no fee. No fee at all at ExpressCoin.com if you use coupon code FTL. You can do it from your smartphone by downloading the app at ExpressCoin.com. There you go, ExpressCoin.com. Let's jump right back into your calls here. Ryan is listening in Massachusetts. Ryan, where are you That's at? Correct. Okay. It Massachusetts. Says, it says Palo Alto, Massachusetts. I never heard of that place in Massachusetts. <laughs> I think I said the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Ah. But, okay. <laughs> anyway, Palo Alto. It's good. It's fine. And you know, undis undisclosed location. Very good. All right. Go uh, ahead, anyway. Ryan. Okay. So, uh, like, I, I pretty much agree with you guys uh, as far as the last uh, your opinion on on immigration laws and bureaucracy, but. What if you own like a giant ranch, you know, or giant, say you had 10 acres of land on the border, say you lived in Texas, Texas, Mexico, and you said, you know, as long as the property owner uh, gives permission, like what if you had a big ranch and people just decided for a better life, they wanted to move on to your ranch and start to, you know, put a tent up and, and, and just live there? Well, that would be like, a different story. That's private property. Um, I mean, what? Yeah. You know, Why is you... it private? I mean, a certain amount of bureaucracy. Why is it private? Like who who owns it? Like that that would be sort of a uh, you know U.S. Uh, there was a bureaucracy you're involved. I see. In, in you're US. comparing the jurisdiction of the United States to land ownership, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, first off, um, yeah. to have a land, to ha to own something, you have to have acquired it uh, sort of legally and morally. Um, you know, the mm -hmm. property you own, you paid somebody, likely a bank, <laughs> and uh, they're holding yeah. a mortgage over your head. They tell you you own it when, in fact, they do. But um, nonetheless, you have acquired your property by, you know, ch exchanging goods and service goods or services or currency for it. The United States hasn't done that. Um, it just uh, went through, wiped out Native people, shoved them off into, uh, you know, different areas. Um, you know, the force of the gun was present from the Revolutionary War all the way through. Uh, from, uh, you know, the fact is, is yeah. if you were of the 40 percent of people that didn't like the that loved the king and wanted to stay with the king, you know, they'd either kill you or you'd go along with it. Um, you know, there's there's no. There has been up to this point no voluntary association that goes with the U.S. So, um, you know, they don't own the property unless you really do believe that uh, the government owns your land because they're telling you what you can do on your land. Now, if you're talking about uh, people walking through your your ranch to to get into the United mm -hmm. States, well, no, they shouldn't do they shouldn't walk through your property to do that and unless you want to, them to. But they wouldn't have to if they could take the road. Yeah. Uh, I love that. I don't know. I guess. Are you trucking? I think it's a. No, my phone's deep. Sorry. What's that? Professional uh, anyway, uh, I just think it's. I don't know. I think it's a tricky situation because who allowed. Uh, I, I, I can't really formulate it, but someone allowed that, that person to get that land. It probably goes way back. Like It's almost like with the Bundy Ranch situation. Sure, that's like, complicated. What, 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 if, what, if, what if a bunch of uh, immigrants had, had decided that they wanted grazing rights? They wanted just kind of. Homestead that uh, would would uh, the Bundy Ranch people be upset with that? Because why not? It's it's a big open land. Who Are we talking it? about homesteading the government property? Just to be clear. Yeah, or or even if just who decides that? that I support that. that I support that. people homesteading government land. But Screw the, that. Take the, it back from the them. Bureau of yeah. Land Management. Just yeah, simply claimed that. that land uh, for the Bundys. So that's a different situation. You're not talking about what? really government land in, in many ways. Wait, I'm sorry. I thought we were but talking about. Whoa, 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 just to be clear, I thought we were talking yeah. about the Bundy Ranch folks were grazing on public land managed by the Bureau of Land Management, and you were talking about yeah. homesteading public lands, correct? Yeah. Well, originally. If, say, you have private, so-called privately owned land on the border of Mexico and Texas, who, mm -hmm. like, who did they get that land from? They probably bought it from who knows where they got it from. Like, well, so you're questioning did, the title? Know? You're questioning the private uh, yeah. landowner's title yeah, to the property? That? I mean, 
sure. Who owns that? I mean, it all yeah. goes back to someone, a bureaucrat somewhere, that claimed ownership of that land. At some you could certainly point, point so out that Mexican... the land in question likely was owned by somebody from, you know, in the likely owned, it's stolen from somebody in the past when the United States came in. Sure. But that doesn't yeah. mean that the person who bought it, you know, in their mind, legitimately from the bank doesn't own it at this point. Yeah. Somebody's somebody right. owns that property and yeah. if they want to allow people to cross through they certainly are free to do so. To me, so if, so if you want to have a free country you're going to have to let free people cross the borders of a free country or you don't have right. you either have that or a free, free you either have that or you have a police state. I mean it's your choice. It's one way or the other. What I absolutely you, agree with you. Centurion, but I think you want, it comes down to like what is ownership I guess and like is there Well yeah, and that is a good question. Like, and there's an argument to be made that if I I think there's an argument to be made that if you have a large plot of land where you're doing nothing with it that somebody could come in and homestead it uh regardless yeah. of who that is, although there's also an a strong argument to be made against that as well. At I, this point all land has title. So uh, we don't really have to worry about homesteading that much. I mean, the government's going to claim it, but I think that uh, the government usually mostly abuses it. Centurion you were trying to jump in there. Well, he answered it when he answered to you. Very good. Ryan, anything else you want to share tonight? No, I'm still confused, but thanks, guys. I love your show. Thanks for the call. I do appreciate hearing from you. I mean, there's, look, even if you're... This is a complicated issue, and most people don't agree with us. No, there's no doubt. But even if you're uncomfortable with the idea of people coming here, I would hope you're more uncomfortable with the idea of a police state, with the idea of having to stop and show identification at various random checkpoint locations throughout your city. Well, like the Bitcoin thing. I'm so used to money. It's hard to look at something or even grasp something else. He's so used to the power and yeah. the oppression. Mm-hmm. He, it's hard to grasp that that someone actually actually owns that instead of the government owning it. And you know, you know, it's not like it's not like the, all the rules have stopped people from moving here. They haven't stopped it. All they do is they make it difficult for them to quit jobs, make it difficult for them to, yeah, yeah. to to move up the social ladder. All they do is turn them into a second class citizen or something close to an indentured Almost servant a slave, yeah. or a class. You know that if you if it was you over there, you would do what it took to feed your kids and to to to, to make a better life for them. Why in the world? I mean, wh- people call themselves Christians, and then they wouldn't do unto others as they would have them do unto them. Yeah. It's insane to me. I don't, I don't know if if I had two children. Let's say I was in Juarez, Mexico, and I had two children, and I'm homeless. Why wouldn't I want to bring them somewhere where it's better? Indeed. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. Plenty of time for your call and thoughts. You can bring up anything that might happen to be on your mind. It doesn't have to be immigration-related. Take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. And if we get the chance, we've got the story about the sicko Homeland Security official. He's busted. We'll tell you what for when we get the chance on Free Talk Live. Coming up. Next to water and food, you need a safe, storable fuel supply for your preparedness needs. Spare fuel is the answer. Spare fuel can be used in any gas-powered vehicle or generator. Spare fuel is perfect for any unforeseen out-of-gas emergencies. Unlike gasoline, spare fuel is safe to store with your other supplies, and it can be stored for many years. Go to GetSpareFuel.com for special pricing. That's GetSpareFuel.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Uh, excuse me, is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Oh, is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes, it's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration li- of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. Fair, and of course, OSHA. OSHA? I thought that was a little town in Wisconsin. You'll find out. Say, floating around like that could be dangerous. Have you checked with the Consumer Product Safety Commission? Well, not yet. Come to think of it, you actually are flying, aren't you? Look, you need to go over to the Federal Aviation Administration and the Transportation... It's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business, but Free Enterprise built this country. Think what could happen if we don't keep it free. 
a public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999 and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan, penalties and interest killing you, missing tax returns, being garnished or levied, not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the Tax Monkey now, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, that's 800-281-6030. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm, that's forum.lrn.fm. Talk Live, take control, toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, the Homeland Security official who's busted. We'll tell you what for here in a moment. We've got Centurion with us from Cop Blocking and Mark in the studio as always. And out of nowhere, the phones are loaded up. If you're on the line, we're going to do our best to get you on the air. Let's go to Charles in West Virginia. Charles, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Well, oh, a couple things. First off, I, I'm going to have to admonish you and Mark for the poor way you treated poor old lawnmower man. <laughs> you wouldn't let him talk about Japan. Again. You only gave him about a half an hour to make a point. <laughs> he didn't get to the point, but that's not the point. And he's so abused. Yes, uh, yes. Do you want to talk to him? He's on hold, Charles. Well, no, 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 please, no. You're not going to put him on, are you? <laughs> no, not right now. <laughs> hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put everyone else on hold on before Lawnmower Man. Well, that's not as a punishment. That's because new people calling are, um, you know, they get, they get, they get priority. priority on Free yeah. Talk Live. Yeah. Car- chronic every, callers every, are taken last on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Every, everybody listening probably thanks you. Well, you'd be surprised, Charles. You know, you can't please everybody. He's got fans, I'll tell you. I don't know why Charles just got put on hold. I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Charles, I'm going to bring him back here. Um, yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, yes, uh, the Lawnmower Man character, J- a.k.a. James, uh, is, you know, it, he, he's very unpopular. But at the same time, some people really get a kick out of his calls, and they enjoy them. So you never know uh, what people are going to think about that stuff. But I appreciate the feedback. What else did you want to talk about? Oh, a couple of things. Uh, about the uh, co-ed or <laughs> the bathroom situation, I kind of agree with Mark on that. Uh, All right, well, now we're going back some- in time here a little bit. we got to recap. Uh, Mark, you remember what he's talking about, the bathroom thing, co-ed Sure, bathroom? this is the idea of creating nothing but these uh, these unisex bathrooms. 
So that uh, colleges some, are doing it. Some colleges are doing it, and they have uh, have done it. Um, I think you know, fine and dandy. If you want to create a unisex bathroom where people can go in, um, you know, that doesn't matter to me. But I think that you should retain, at the very least, retain the women's room, uh, because yeah. I, I I just I, I just I just don't think I can. I'm not ready for the world where uh, uh, you know men and women can be in the ba- same bathroom. You know. I got I I was kind of indoctrinated into that several years ago when I was a very much younger man. Uh, this kind of works into you advertising survival school. I went to a survival school uh, when I was uh, right out of high school. The government paid my way and everything. They <laughs> sent me to a nice place in Southeast Asia. <laughs> And they put us through some pretty rigorous times, but one of the times we got to go on what they call the stand down and go into this little hamlet, and I had to relieve myself, and there was a room there that served as a bathroom. So I went and sat down, and to my amazement, this ancient lady came in and sat down beside me and released a bombardment of gas that was worse than anything that uh, they dropped on us so far. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So you weren't talking about a suicide bomber. You were actually talking about somebody with uh, methane <laughs> gas. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, she. It was pure methane. Okay. And, uh, Not mustard kind gas. Of kind of fish-flavored methane. <laughs> it's not mustard gas, but it did make his eyes tear. Oh, it it brought tears to my eyes, believe me. <laughs> Good call, then, Charles. Anything else you want to share? Well, then she let go with a bombardment of the day before fish and rice. And, oh, that. And then she got up, and I looked on a gentleman. He offered her my toilet paper, and she looked at me like I was a fool. Took her hand, wiped herself, and slung it and walked out. So after a while, I walked out. And later on, they sent us up to a little place called Quezon for our, uh, well, for New Year's. Uh, a New Year's party. It was, really well, sorry you had to go there. Well, it wasn't our New Year's. It was the Tet New Year's, the Lunar New Year. And they came down called the Tet Offensive. I'm and sorry. we survived that. I'm uh, glad you they did. Yeah. They sent 45,000 down to greet us uh, oh from all the north, and uh, we survived that. Charles, thanks and for telling the story tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. It's probably the grossest call of the year uh, thus far. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, now, that's the question, of course, is you know, Charles was upset about Lawnmower Man's call uh, or some of his calls. But given the gross out factor of Charles's call, would more people be upset about his call and its content than the lawnmower? No, I'm, I'm, was... I'm more upset that the government had to send him to Vietnam. Yeah, that's terrible. The man danced the line. He danced it well. Uh, he played. He, he he was. It was humorous all the way. Um, I gotta say, it, it no. didn't cross any lines. I mean, it definitely right. didn't cross any lines. It wasn't something we had. He was to polite. Censor. But it was also very, very descriptive in a very gross uh, manner. The bathroom story was was pretty horrifying. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got Mark. He's calling from Nitro, West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Hello, Mark. Hey, guys. That's a hard call to follow. I bet it is. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Guys, I wanted to help you out with your property ownership issues. Long time ago, I was taught. Ultimately, property, when it when no one else lived here, nobody ever lived on the earth, God owned the land. This is why we use the term in literature for, uh, about providence. When kings, when people came together, went into the land, they might run into other people. God decided the ultimate outcome of that battle, so ultimately God decided who owned the land. Hmm. Once we started forming governments, we we formed governments for the common protection of everybody in that <laughs> land. And yeah, right. ultimately, yeah, I understand it's on a rise there, but I mean, ultimately, that's what it was set up. That's for. the story. That's the claim. So, I think that there might be some historical it, evidence that's contrary to that, but I think that that's the claim. That's what we've all been told. Exactly. I mean, but at any time, theoretically, we can over overcome that government again, just as 
week. So land ownership ultimately, unfortunately, comes down to I was taught whoever can defend the land, that's who owns the land. If you choose not to defend the land, then you're not going to own it long. Might makes right is a powerful argument, but it does have some real drawbacks. And, uh, you know, I mean, supposedly, we, you know, it'd be wonderful if we were moving into a world where people could talk out their problems and come to the solutions of truth rather than, you know, who's got the biggest, longest spear. But ultimately, when you get that, it's the playground mentality. Somebody always wants to swing that you're on. Somebody always wants to take your place. But if somebody sees you have a candy bar, they're going to take it. There's always somebody who will. And a lot of times, uh, the ones the ones that will be most successful at taking it will be the ones that manage to get the cloaks of government uh, draped across their, their shoulders. Well, no. What will happen is those people who have been successful won't even have to take it from you because the people will give the, their candy bars to them. And they'll, they'll feel That's good about correct. it. <laughs> feel- yeah, and so ultimately, that's why we as individuals have to come together to fight those that are more powerful than us from taking what, well, what rightfully belongs to us, and that includes our own government. Well, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people are looking at moving to New Hampshire, people who love the ideas of freedom, people are joining the Free State Project. And, Mark, thanks for your call tonight. I don't personally want to fight. I don't like the idea of fighting uh, for freedom. I just want to be free and then allow the government guys to do all the fighting because they're the ones, in my opinion, who are fighting desperately to keep their legitimacy uh, because if they don't have their legitimacy, then people will see them as what they are, which is a criminal gang. And they will start to treat them appropriately uh, for what they actually are, which is, again, a criminal gang using the threat of violence and actual violence to force their way on people who never hurt anybody like you and I. 855-450 free. We've got enough time to sneak your call in here. The remaining moments of Free Talk Live are coming up shortly. 855-450 free. That is the toll-free number brought to you by Pro XPN. You can also join us on Skype at username LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Hey, folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I'm sure you know this economy sucks. We all realize that the American economy is tremendously unstable right now and will likely get much worse. There's monumental debt, government bailouts, stock and real estate bubbles that are primed to pop at any moment, which can flush away most or all of your retirement savings. This type of movement has enormous consequences. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. Financial trouble is right here at our doorstep. But if you move right now and develop a backup plan immediately, this could be the most profitable time of your life. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in our history. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789 for my free report. 888-507-8789 and prepare to profit as history repeats itself. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. 
the monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc, and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. Just dial toll-free and get you in here in these remaining moments. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And don't forget, we also have Skype. Skype into the show. Username there is lrn.fm. You need focus? You're feeling fatigued? Trying to get that extra edge when it counts? Look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are also talking about modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work, giving them the critical edge that they need. They make it affordable at modup.net for everyone, including you, to take advantage of the benefits of modafinil by being 80 to 85% lower in price than the brand name. But don't mistake low prices for inferior quality. They ensure that purity and potency are consistent to that of the branded version. And remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. ModUp.net is a supporter of the Bitcoin community, by the way. You'll get a sweet discount if you pay with Bitcoin, 33% off at ModUp.net, plus use code FTL, and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So again, use code FTL, world-class service at a great price. That's ModUp.net, M-O-D-U-P.net. We go right back into your calls and thoughts. Let's talk to Wes, listening in Silver Valley, Idaho. Hello, Wes. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Uh, My question it's about immigration. I'm looking at a map of the world put out by the United Nations in which every country is rated first, second, third, or even fourth world. My yeah. question is, can you build a first world country with a third world population? Of course you can. Yeah, How do you think it was done? I mean, I would say that to some extent, the attitudes and work ethics do do make a difference, but I think ultimately it has to do with their governments. You can see that the you know, when you look at the island of Hong Kong, it's no different than China, but China was poor as dirt. For I mean, remember when we were uh, kids and it's like, ah, eat your fat, there's kids starving in China. That's because kids were starving in China. They weren't starving in Hong Kong. You're just talking about a spit of water over, and the difference is not the people as much as the government. Uh, another one on the internet is the IQ of the people of the world. Now, the Oreo people are about five points higher on average than the Caucasian, but the indigenous people of Australia, that being the uh, pygmies, their IQ is 70. Are you going to make a, a first world nation with people an IQ of 70? 
IQ tests tend to be uh, t- tend to be slanted towards Western mm-hmm. cultures, and uh, you know, obviously, different cultures have different values. So yeah, there's different not, types of IQ. You're as well. not talking about intelligence because intelligence actually, uh, Harvard University distinguished 17 different types of intelligence. So, you know, I mean, you can be in a you can have you know spatial conceptual intelligence that doesn't have anything can't possibly be rated on IQs. So yes, I do think that um, right your math problems aren't going to do you much good when you're out trying to you know chop trees down and you know break coconuts or and, whatever and kill nonetheless, beasts uh, then, then, nonetheless this nation was still built by dum dums too the fact is is that we had plenty of people out there banging um, you know spikes into railroads and they weren't necessarily you know they may have been geniuses but they didn't have to be to do it so um, you know Look, everybody's got their place in building a prosperous society it's bad governments that keep people poor. Sure, and I don't want to have a uh, litmus test or an IQ test. You know, I don't want to have a place where, oh, I'm sorry, you didn't pass our test, so you can't come here. No free, no freedom for you. You're not smart enough. That to me sounds like a really scary place to live. Well, dividing dividing people in 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 different classes is kind of demeaning to the humanity. I think. I think yeah. it. You know, it's offensive to say. Some chief in in Australia is is less smarter than me because he's a chief in Australia in some pygmy tribe, or or the Fox Creek Northern Cree Nation in Southern Canada is you know less you know has a lesser IQ or more. It's ridiculous. IQs. Yeah, it's stupid. it's ridiculous. They just have different values and different, different types of intelligence are important in different cultures. Wes, any other thoughts? Go ahead. We yeah, looking at this map. I would have to say that wherever white Caucasians go, their values and traditions, uh, it appears they they produce first world countries. The United States, Canada, all of Europe, all of Scandinavia, and by the way, the number um, one. I don't know if you've heard of. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there, Europe is a very multicultural continent. There's people from all over the place. Well, Wes, uh, Wes, there. look where you're looking at that map. Look who put it out, the U.N. <laughs> I, think that, I, I think that um, you know that the court systems in the Western world have been um, among the best um, you know, throughout historically. I'm not saying that we have great court systems here in the United States, but I'm saying historically, as a matter of fact, I think they've gotten corrupt over the last few decades, but historically they've been better than most. And all you have to do, you don't have to be the fast rabbit. You don't have to be a fast rabbit. You only have to be the fastest rabbit. And so if you have less corrupt court systems, that that can make a real difference. I still don't think that that has anything to do with um, with uh, color or anything like that. It's just yeah. it, it just happens to be what was. Yeah, Chihuahuas and St. Bernards bleed both bleed red, so they must be the same. Now, the, well, I they can breed. Wa- I I have been watching this uh, r- map and the rating for a number of years, and Iceland and Norway are oh, one and two, neck and neck. They're fighting it out for the most livable countries in the world. Now, is it just some kind of coincidence that they happen to be the whitest countries in the world? Well, I well just Wes, wanted... look, at the, look at the pygmy thing again. You said they have a higher yeah. IQ. That just yeah. proves that people can govern themselves. Yeah. Thanks, Wes. Uh, it sounds I, like you're uh, obsessed with skin color, and I think you need to get over it. Uh, oh, I think you should move to Iceland. Humans I mean, are, for God's sakes, the place is awesome. I would if I could. I live Thanks in North Thanks for the call, Iowa. Wes. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It seems like he's obsessed with skin color and believes in that— In classes. Yeah, and that believes that somebody's skin pigment has something to do with their intelligence, and I'm, I'm sorry, it's ridiculous. Uh, there are plenty of, uh, you know, people in of the— white skin color who are not very smart uh and there's plenty of people who are you know brilliant who are black and hispanic and you know asian so sorry just absolutely ridiculous yeah it's just not a conversation that i think that is gonna go anywhere even if uh you know i mean if you just if makes you, you think, sound like a racist yeah that's, well, all. Yeah, that's what it, that's exactly what it sounds like yep. let's continue here tom is in hudson new hampshire you're on free talk live hey tom yeah, about your new affiliate there, WVFT, you were saying in Tallahassee. Yeah. Uh, they're actually 93.3 megahertz, oh, and thanks. they're actually uh, Gretna 
Florida, and uh, they're uh, 8.7 kilowatts, and their uh, tower is 133 meters tall. But what I came to talk to you about <laughs> is... Uh, Good info. I was going to check that. Yeah, Thanks for doing state, that for me. Uh, this, the state uh, ID cards. In New Hampshire, you can be issued a state ID card at the age of 12. And uh, when they issue it, it comes on this thing, the, the temporary, and it says, this is a temporary New Hampshire driver license valid for 60 days. Whether it's a state ID card or a driver license, either way it says it. Hmm. And therein comes a loophole if somebody uh, <laughs> got suspended for DWI and they turn in their license and they get this temp the state ID card and then they're taking their chances and they get caught driving under suspension. Well, how could they be under suspension? What's the difference between a, a form from the DMV? The DMV clerk hands you this document that says that it is a valid New Hampshire driver's license. How could it not be a valid driver's That's license? That's an ex excellent question. Have you put this theory to the test, Tom? No, I have not done that, but I'm throwing that out to any uh, defense lawyer. And would it also allow, the other question is, would it also allow a 12-year-old to drive? I mean, if uh, if the 12-year-old could go and get this ID, and it says on there, the temporary one, that it's a driver's license, would the 12-year-old or 13 or 14-year-old get in trouble uh, for driving around with that? With a, a temporary uh, ID card that says that it is a temporary New Hampshire driver license valid for 60 days. Therefore, that's what it is because the DMV issued it, and it says it on what the DMV issued. Thanks, so, Tom. Appreciate it. Lawnmower man gets the last 10 seconds to get the final word. Go ahead. Lawnmower man going once. Lawnmower man going twice. Oh, what a shame. Show my cop I'm trying my check. best. Oh, yeah, there goes uh, Centurion. Thanks from coplock.org. He's got his uh, homemade coplock. Bright yellow, neon yellow shirt. I like it's it. It's got the old fuzzy um, letters. Like felt. And, yeah, like the, felt. The, the, right the, the, on the on I'll see everybody in Manchester tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's going to be uh, an epic cop blocking going on in Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm sure we'll tell you about it if there's some highlights. And uh, in the meantime, we'll see you online at freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 7, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,304. Silver opened at $19.91, and Bitcoin is trading around $583. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated. 
specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online, rrbi.co, or by phone, 800-874-9760. In the news, Jacob Lavaro's case inspired another rally yesterday in front of the Williamson County Courthouse, where supporters gathered in solidarity of the 19-year-old facing a life sentence for pot brownies. Robert Butler organized a press conference which drew Fox News, the Austin American Statesman, and the Liberty Beat. Butler presented the signatures of over 240,000 people who signed a petition in support of Lavaro, who is facing a first-degree felony charge, which in the state of Texas is 20 years to life in prison. Indictment is set for August 16th. Are you interested in learning more about unschooling or seeking fellow unschool families to spend time with? Well, the Austin Unschoolers will have their monthly support group meeting on Monday. It'll run from 6.30 until 9 o'clock at Central Market North on Lamar. It's a very casual group, so please come when you can and stay as long as you like. Kids often play on the playground while parents chat at the outdoor dining area nearby. Come ask questions and get to know other unschooled families. That's Monday, 6.30 until 9 at Central Market North. And if you're interested in permaculture design, the Bardo Project in Croydon, New Hampshire, will be hosting a week-long Hobbit House build and permaculture workshop from August 8th through the 17th. It's hands-on learning and an experience that will result in the raising of an earthen home built from materials harvested on their 200-plus acre farm. Attend one day or camp the whole week. Meals will be provided and evenings will be full of live music and good company. Find Bardo online at bardoproject.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, your local source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM. Located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live each Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on 1370 a.m. in Austin. That's 1370 a.m. on Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 7th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, the Russian state news agency announced a ban on all imports of food from the United States, as well as fruit and vegetables from Europe. The bans are in response to sanctions from the U.S. over Russia's support of Ukraine's 